Are we really brothers? Brother and Cursive. Are, are we really brothers? Brother and Cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brother and Cursive. Are, are we really brothers? Brother and Cursive. Are we really brothers? Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in Cursive. <laughs> Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Death Squad Studios for a brand new episode of Brothers in Cursive. We are here with David Lucas and William Montgomery. Yeah, and we mm. got Johnny Mitchell. What up, what up? Johnny. It's good. Hi, fellas. How are you? Good. I don't want to get out of turn here. I don't want to speak out of turn. What Fabulous to be here. Yeah, thanks, dude. Burbank. What's going on with you, uh, William? My neck is killing me. I was in a car crash last night. Car? What? Yep. No Hello. way. <laughs> you were in a car crash. Uh, were you driving? I uh, I didn't know you've ever ridden in a car. That's amazing. <laughs> passenger. I thought you rode horseback. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in a car, started the day off, went to IHOP, got the unlimited pancakes, uh, oh. got a bottle of Evan Williams, snuck it into the movie, saw the 1917 movie. Was it good? It was. Nice. I liked it. Yeah, it was good. I want to see that. So, all right, let's uh, rewind me, uh, or, fa- all right, we're at the movies. Fast forward me. Uh, rewind me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, fast forward me, uh, even though we are rewinding. We're, we're, we're fast forwarding this rewind. All right, so give me uh, 25 minutes before the car crash. What's taking place? In I real am, time. I, I want am, the story to take 25 minutes. Yeah. If you could. I'm playing yeah. darts uh, with my significant other... We're drinking mini pitchers of Budweiser. Um, so you're I, compatible. We could say that. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, everything's say, going good. Then how many pitchers would you say? I had three mini ones. Damn. That's like 20 beers? Or? Probably 20 beers. How many um, does she have? The same. So y'all each had three? Each had three. Damn. I three. Okay, so, so right off the jump. You're you're admitting to a crime right now of drinking and driving, but anyways, it was her, not so, you. Right, I love it. Okay. And by the way, you're defeating the purpose of a pitcher. You know that yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to have a pitcher to share with friends. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a mini pitcher. You can hold like a cup. So I was just drinking it out of the mini pitcher. I don't know shit about pitchers. Black people buy bottles. Yeah, it was a mini <laughs> pitcher. It was probably 32 ounces, I would guess. Jesus. Probably three of those. All right. Uh, everything's going good. Uh, then out of nowhere, she brings up how on the second night I ditched her. This was probably seven months ago. She starts crying. At there's, the bar. Yeah, at the bar. There's people all around. <laughs> They're looking. I'm like, we need to get out of here. I feel awkward because I haven't done anything. Right. And everything's nice. And then it. Uh, uh, and man, we don't even remember fucking seven months ago. Yeah, bother me. I'm trying to talk. We get in the car. Uh, <laughs> We get in the car, going down a street. She ends up smashing into a parked car. God damn. Like, the front, I think her car's totaled. The front wheel of her car is destroyed. It hurt. It hits the other one. And I just wondered if she did it on purpose. I don't think she did. But I was literally on my phone about to put on Jimmy Buffett's volcano to lighten the mood. <laughs> literally, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm not looking up. How and then fast, there's a loud fast. noise, maybe 30 miles an hour. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So, I mean, That'll quick. Yeah. And then we just stop. She tries to gun it to get out of there. Luckily, the tire was fucked up, so we couldn't leave. So y'all I, like, I love her first instinct, <laughs> that of a criminal. Do you, date, do you date a black girl? <laughs> Is she black? Is she like a black emo chick? I wish she was. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, just go from a simple, you know, car accident to a fe- uh, felony. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the people all come out. I don't know how the cops didn't come. Because I'm happy it, for it that the cops didn't come. But in Tennessee, the cops would show up. In Los Angeles, yeah. if uh, nobody's injured, the cops don't show up. Yeah, you, nobody showed up. You have to do the proper thing, exchange mm-hmm. information and exchange insurance. And that happened. And I do, I do believe that she was probably distracted. Because, again, she was crying pissed off at my ass. From Which hurts seven, my feelings. I didn't do anything. I've been ago. nothing but sweet. From seven months ago. I've been nothing but sweet. Let me this ask you. Who, happens. who snuck the bottle in? Uh, I put it in her purse. All right. So you got a rider. I'd yeah, like, this is a rider. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she's smuggling in <laughs> fucking drugs into the movies. She's, she's, she's fleeing the scene. This bitch is a rider. I know. I know. 
It's all good, but yeah. So after after the car crash, uh, how did y'all get to where y'all needed to go? Uber. Her grandfather. It was literally half a mile away from her place, and her grandfather. Those car accidents take place within a mile. It was literally half a mile away from her place, and I just again I was looking down at my phone. I don't understand how it could have happened. Nobody was around. She just slammed into a car. She was trying to take you out. Well, she is a woman, and she's been drinking. So and she's emotional. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Was she on her period? No. So it's, I don't know. I might now my neck fucking hurts. Her, <laughs> I mean, her period must be coming, bro, because that's when women act the worst. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like a day or two before that's their right. fucking period, right. they'll bring up some shit from two years ago. Like, Do you think I fucking remember? I feel like the statute of limitations is up on yeah. that. Yeah. She Seven. did. I'll give her love. I did give her a twenty earlier, and she went to Wendy's <laughs> and Dave's double combo and a Dave single. Oh, you got a girl. Did that she can bring eat. some Evan Williams into <laughs> Wendy's with her? <laughs> she didn't. You got a girl that can eat. She didn't. But yeah, now my neck's hurting. My right arm hurts, but that's also from playing darts, and I'm just out of shape. So I think that's why my damn I'm man. hurting right here, but I also got a little. So when y'all got just a little bit right when, here, that's from did the your seatbelt. head hit anything or did no? If I didn't have my seatbelt on, it would have been bad. Yeah, I yeah. would have slammed up in front of the thing. Yeah, what kind of car was the other car? Like a newer some car? SUV. Oh shit. Yeah, some SUV. And it probably had a, a slight bump. Their wheel was messed up, yeah. Her what car kind of car does she drive? Some little uh, Chevy Malibu or something. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's probably total. Her rates are going up. Yeah. yeah. She, she's going to pay 300 And I feel bad month. about yeah. that. I hope she doesn't listen to this because this will be just another just nightmarish situation. Oh, I'll she's be, at Wendy's right now. Let's right. I'll dude. be hearing about it. Yeah. Why don't you guys like Uber, though? If you're drinking pitchers of beer and shit like that. I hear you. That totally would have been the smart thing. Again, the bar was literally a mile away from her place. Which even is a cheaper Uber. It's like, like hey. <laughs> I agree, but we were like, coming from the movie theater. Like, I guess it wasn't. Right. It wasn't. None of this was planned, but then yet yeah, happened. In a perfect world, yeah, she would not have been driving, but. She yeah, was. She should have easily got a DUI. That would have been $10,000 yeah. instead oh, yeah. of I just bucks. can't <laughs> believe that. Again, in Tennessee, the cops would have shown up. Yeah. I cannot believe. Or she lives by like Did a she police precinct. I think so. And I think the other people knew that well. Were they white? They were. And then she got mad at me that I was telling them, oh, this is what happens. She was yelling at me, screaming and crying. It's the rare whites that don't call the cops <laughs> yeah. when something's off. Yeah. You know what they, I mean? they probably don't have insurance. That's probably <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. yeah, they got warrants out there like, just fucking be <laughs> cool. Well, it's 500 bucks. This never you got, happened. Right. You got lucky, bro. Yeah. They'll probably they'll probably file that shit on their insurance as a hit and run. Yeah, if they're smart or mm-hmm. if they don't have insurance. Yeah, they've yeah. already filed the insurance. There's already a claim out. They just want a new car, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I don't know. That's what happened. I hope because, my neck yeah, doesn't keep getting worse. Depending on her insurance, bro. Like with a DUI, the insurance would have had a hard time wanting to pay the other people, yeah. and then the fault would have lied on her. And then if she don't have money like that, it'll just been something that have been in limbo for years. Yeah. And she don't have money like that. So, yeah, they did the right thing. You guys are living like you got money, though. Motherfucking Tuesday, you're drinking Evan Williams <laughs> at, at a motherfucking matinee. <laughs> and, and then and then an all-you-can-eat all pancake. Yeah. M- motherfucker, know, most right? people are at work, dude. That is a privileged crime. That's right. like today was a good day by Ice Cube. Like, he just talks about not having a job. <laughs> the whole song is about how I I don't have a job, but I, I got a beeper. A fucking job. It's a day of doing nothing. Uh. So, I'm off on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. What, so. what movie theater did y'all go to? Please don't tell me. The 1917 movie said, about no, World War One. But was it Arclight? It was an AMC. So, yeah, y'all got money. Yeah, you're not going to send it. It cost $7 because <laughs> she had a $5 off thing on her phone. And it was already cheap price. It was half price on Tuesdays at AMC. Oh, okay. I got it. I like, uh, I like, uh, I do love uh, Arclight. Yeah. Assigned seats, real butter on the popcorn. Mm-hmm. Assigned seats is key yeah. now. Yeah, bro. Most people have garbage butter now. It's not yeah. even, it's like yeah. it's like diet butter. Right. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? I didn't come here to be healthy, dude. Yeah. Fucking what's, drench that shit. What's peasant? that one movie? Uh, <laughs> what's that one movie theater that has cheese popcorn? They all have the, the cheese powder. Yeah. No, bro. There's one. I, I, it might be that Asian theater in Koreatown. You know the one I'm talking about? Like on Western? Oh, okay. And they got like cheese popcorn, caramel popcorn. You yeah. like that shit? Yeah, it's, I don't. Butter popcorn, like you, if you're not at ArcLight, it's just trash. You, yeah. know, you know what blows my mind is why don't they serve 
French fries at movie theaters. The number one thing that right. you, th- <laughs> you think they would, everyone would be like, oh, have you had AMC fries? Well, you know, cinema fries are better. You know, like, yeah. I'm surprised. Damn. That, what and a, you can make them en masse. You can make it like popcorn. You yeah. just deep fry the fuckers. Yeah. And then nothing. You serve the shit a up. A timer. It, it takes nothing. A, a robot could do that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, can we, can we talk about this really quick? I don't mean to make a racial. What's up? But I have been to the AMC <laughs> on 125th in Harlem. Uh, motherfuckers order food like... Like they're at a cookout. I mean, folks are spending a hundred dollars on concessions. You know what I mean? When black people go to the movies, they, it's it's a day out. You know what I mean? Right. It's a picnic and a movie. They wear their best suits. <laughs> <laughs> they're just coming from church, and they're giving Magic Johnson all their money. I don't know if he owns that one, but he owns a lot. When of them. were you yeah. going to the one in Harlem? Were you living in New York? No, my friends were. They were living in Harlem. They were gentrifying. So oh, nice. we uh, so we went up to the theater there, and we were like, "Damn, this is this is above 125th." <laughs> Shout out to Harlem and Brooklyn that are yeah. both gentrified right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, that should look like West Hollywood. But shout out to the motherfuckers still getting it in those neighborhoods. Shout out to the people that have held on. Yeah, 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 man. Because you know, uh, with my race, uh, not maybe the generation before me, like my, our parents, but like the ones my age, they're not holding on to real estate. No. So they'll fucking get rid of 20 acres and a mule <laughs> for $5,000. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> for real. My generation is not holding on to real estate. I was I was lucky enough to inherit some real estate from my parents, and I'll be damned if I sell it, and I'll be damned if my kids sell it. That's I'm, it. I'm going to put it in my will that this shit will be donated before it's sold. Yeah, yeah. Donated, donated to, to who? The, the United Negro College. <laughs> 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 I don't give a fuck who it is. Just not in the hands of some greedy the ass UNCF. person. Dude. The UNCF, that is a thing. Yeah, I know it is. Black people have signed a lot of bad contracts. <laughs> Native Americans, dude. That's oh, how most of it was just, they were just yeah. swindled. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, bro. Like, um, so, in Georgia, my great-grandmother, uh, is it great? Yeah, great-grandmother, uh, in the early, well, late 1800s, bought like 300 acres. Wild. Right. We still own 100 acres, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the family couldn't agree on 200 acres, so they sold it for, this is like maybe in the early 2000s, I was a kid, they yeah. sold it for pennies on the yeah. dollar, for maybe... A couple sacks of flour or something. Right. Like traded t- it. I think like 10 or 12 people split up like $250,000, which is no money. And for now, 200 acres. Right. And this is in Macon? This is in Monroe County. Which is like a suburb of Atlanta or where Where is that? It's a suburb of Macon. It's like it's like uh, one of the fastest growing cities in Georgia. Right. So there is value to the well, land. Now there is. Right. So had they held on to it, you know, everybody looks, a lot of people look at the quick dollar, but had they held on to it and developed, yeah. it, them, developed it themselves, yeah. we'd all be millionaires. Yeah, of course. You know, and it's like, y'all, I just be, every time... Because you have to pass that subdivision to get to my mom's subdivision. Like, my family has their own subdivision where it's nothing but family and shit. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, if you want to sell your land in the subdivision now, you have to offer it to a family member. What's the subdivision called? Zonia Drive. Zonia's? Name, Z-O-N-I-A. Named after my grandma. Great-grandmother. Well, nice. No shit. So you yeah. guys are like the lords. Right, right, like right. L-O-U-R-D-E-S. Right. Lords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lordes <laughs> of that fucking Fiefdom. Yes. What yeah. words am I using? Right. You know what I'm talking about. Though. I know what you're trying to say. Bro, that's fucking wild. But see, yeah, but black people hadn't seen $250,000 cash. Cash before. You know what I mean? So they're like, wow. That's... And they don't realize, like, you have to deal with a lawyer, so you got to pay them. They're 30 yeah. or 40 yeah. on top. You what? Know? Lawyers fuck you harder than agents do. <laughs> yeah, they do. You know? So it's like, man, like, every time I pass that subdivision, yeah. I'm just you're so, sickened. Yeah, I'm like, man, like, there's million dollar houses over there. Like there's there's a fucking. Um, do you think you'd be out here right now if you had gotten like millions of dollars? Do you think you'd still be trying to do comedy, or you would just be set absolutely, up bro? I'm. I mean, you'd have a few more kids though. Yeah, probably. I mean, <laughs> when, when my when my mom when my mom and my dad <laughs> look at this motherfucker. When my mom and my dad pass, I'll be a millionaire, no question. You know what I'm saying? Oh, seriously? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like uh, I don't have access. Do you have others? It's only you, right? You don't have other siblings. I have siblings a brother you. that my mom raised. Yeah. My Is he going to get some of that? Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. He'll probably sell it to me for cheap. That motherfucker. <laughs> David will fuck him. <laughs> like, 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 the, like the other races have been fucking black I'll people. <laughs> but uh, me and him got like, uh, between us, we got like four houses. 
uh, that will get the main house and a couple. Is he of, out here? Did I meet him one time? Yeah, he's out here. How's he doing? He's doing great, man. He's doing great to be 22 years old, living in a fucking $2,500 apartment and studio. He living better than me, man. <laughs> he got a, a balling ass apartment in Studio City. That's what happens when you're the manager at Chili's. Yeah, nah, he runs his own business. Uh, oh, does he? I just don't have time to do that because I do comedy. You know, I could yeah. probably do something that would be pretty lucrative. But this what is, kind of business? He runs a t-shirt and a sneaker business. Nikes. Yeah, Nikes, all that. So what he does is, you know, like uh, out here, uh, we have all these like crossroads and Buffalo Exchange where you can go get Gucci for a yeah. hundred bucks, and then he'll have somebody restore the shit, and then he can sell it in Georgia for full price because they don't have shit like that. Yeah. You so, probably sell smart. it to like yeah. that's what the kids do with the Supreme shit. Yeah. They sell it to Japan for like yeah, uh, triple the price. And he dude. pays people to stand in line and mm-hmm. shit. Like, yeah. yeah, dude. It, w- remember when I was getting it back in the day? That's what I would have done with my. What cash. were you doing? I had a, my own business too. Oh but, yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, we have a uh, speaking segue. Of, uh, speaking Good segue. Of, <laughs> speaking, <laughs> speaking of I'm our guest, segue king, dude. <laughs> right. Speaking of our guest, we have a fucking ex uh, drug lord. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what I heard. Were you? Are you? Were you really? I mean, I wasn't a drug lord, but I was I was getting it. I was a one percent of the successful people in in the drug business. Where were you? Oregon, and this is before pot was legal. It was like, I was, it was like prohibition <laughs> era. Uh, Portland. How is it in Portland? It. What do you mean? How is it? It's is a it nice, a nice city. place. Yeah, it's a nice place. A lot of, of drugs, though. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> what it's were true, you and selling? a lot of people that are trafficking like up to Canada because it's right off the I five, so it's like a perfect uh, transportation hub for all that shit. So let me ask, like, uh, do you see any, like, I got, I got a, well, I, I mean, as you know, the Lucas family, they were, yeah, of course. So I know a lot of uh, drugs. <laughs> Bro, they ran 125, speaking yeah, of 125, they dude. ran Harlem. Yeah. Uh, I'll be with them next month, actually. Um, but um, I know a lot of drug lords and a lot of drug, well, I won't say drug lords, a lot of drug dealers that were notorious, they can pinpoint one example that made them get caught. Do you feel like you have that? Yeah, well, I got caught twice. The second time is what got got me sent to prison. Mm. Seriously? Um, yeah, yeah. But um, oh my gosh! But yeah, I mean, it's, it's usually <laughs> oh my God. it's it's always like it's always a fluke. Greed. Well, yeah, of course, yeah, absolutely. What happened? Absolutely, because just like me, just like your family, they could have got out yeah. with millions in cash, dude. But it was like, too easy. It, but it was too easy. Exactly. My great uncle couldn't even count the money he was making. Yeah, he retarded. Was, right. He, he couldn't was. even count that high, bro. He was a country cat. <laughs> no offense, Frank. Yeah, he was. Um, rest in peace. You know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that's so. It's always t- it's taking an unnecessary risk. So how did um, you get busted the second time? Second time it was a it was a package of money. They never got me with any drugs. It was a conspiracy charge. It was like a conspiracy and a money laundering charge. So how they, did they, they how caught they it? They it? caught money originally. It was like a package of cash coming from the East Coast. That's because that's all I was doing at the end was just shipping my weed to New York, New Jersey, so you were selling Philadelphia. Weed. At the end, yeah, yeah. Other I used to sell in, in college. I used to sell coke, mushrooms, whatever was like because the weed wasn't yes. making enough money, so I had to diversify. But then oh by the gosh. end, when I when I found the my you know when I got connected with guys like you know drug gangs on the east coast where the price of weed was yeah literally triple right right yeah and that kids couldn't even fathom it now because the weed is so cheap but right. back then it was like that was the lick what was a pound going for back so then? i would buy one i would i would buy a pound of like the best outdoor shit mm-hmm. i could get right so you, had buddies, so like you really portland who were growing it? i would go to southern oregon where they grow southern Ca- oregon northern california is where they grow the most outdoor weed in the country yeah. right and so I had a couple connects. One was like a big Mexican grow, right? So it was, that was like the sketchiest shit I ever got into was <laughs> right. dealing with these fucking essays. They were growing yeah. it on like federal land. You know, I'm sure they've been busted <laughs> oh by now. God. And then I would deal with like rednecks, like these plumbers. This was like 2008. So everybody was out of a job. Right. So they just turned to growing weed because I own all this land. Yeah. So I'd go buy a pound for like, I'd pick up like 10 at a time. I would pay... Anywhere from like twenty three hundred to twenty five hundred a pound, Damn. and I would I would sell each of those pounds for thirty, f- it l- minimum a thousand bucks more than what I paid for it. So yeah. 
And, and so I would sell five can, to ten a week. So it was a good business, bro. It was like it, a half a million dollar. What a year were business. you doing with the money? Because you can't put it in the bank, can you? I mean, no. You well, wash it. well, but, but unfortunately, I did put a lot of it in safe deposit boxes that it, and it got confiscated. it got confiscated. Yeah. Oh. If and I was stupid. I was so young though. Like you didn't know. Like I was too new. Exactly. Like if I had a little more wisdom, if I had. Like what a, would you have done with it? With the more wisdom, like what would you have done? With I would have turned it. I would have washed it. How do you all do these that? businesses? You got to have a business. So <laughs> his like, brother's business, perfect yeah. fucking money laundering. If you business, run, dude. if you if you run. So like, what do you mean? How do you if you launder run, the money? If you run you like a, a shoe shop, if you run a shoe shop, a I run, store. I bring you thirty thousand dollars, and you give me twenty thousand clean, and it looks like I bought thirty thousand dollars worth of inventory from you, but you keep the inventory and then say that I bought that, and then write that off and give me the twenty thousand clean, because the thirty thousand can come from anywhere when mm-hmm. you run your own business. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and then you could put that money in the bank. Yeah, and I mean it's a win-win for the person watching it because they get to keep their inventory plus they get thirty thousand. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna lose a little bit. You're gonna lose some of your money by by yeah. laundering it because you have to mix it in with. You're gonna be right. paying more for your goods right. than right. what they're actually worth, but you're just right. doing that to get something on paper to right. say, "Hey, look at I own a shoe business. I legally bought and sold this pair of Jordans." That's so why most how much drug dealers own businesses. The business might be, it's like even in LA, when I see businesses and I see fucking a, a Bentley parked in the front and you don't see anybody going in that motherfucker, I'll be like, I know what the fuck yeah. this it's is. drug stores. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. I know what the fuck yeah. this is. Go out to Sherman, o- or Sh- Sherman Way, Van Nuys, <laughs> bro, you see a lot of that shit. Or uh, like the, any of the uh, hand readings or the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, that's a dead tell, dude. Yeah. That's a dead tell. Psychics? Yeah. Psychics, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's, yeah, I mean, but all you got to do, like, like you can you can buy a fucking storefront. Wait, so how much did they find in like the safe deposit boxes? Mm, I think I probably had like a hundred stashed in the safe deposit boxes, and then I had oh my gosh, and then I had I mean they didn't get all my money, but they got probably a quarter million, which was enough what? to them. Yeah, like I didn't really have I, I could have maybe fought it a little harder, but I already had another charge that I had picked up from a year and a half before. And what it cost you to fight it, like a hundred k? No, I spent like thirty. Oh, okay. I, spent, I would have spent more, but I looked at the I looked at what they had, and I was like, it's not worth it. Right. Like, I might as well just take. They're offering me thirty two months. Mm-hmm. Just let me take that. How long you know did you I mean? give those thirty? I did eighteen months total. How was like County time and shit. But it's feds. It's different. <clears throat> no, I didn't go to the feds. Oh, you didn't? I didn't go to the feds. Very. It, I feel like I would have gone to the feds if it were in any other state besides Oregon, Oregon or California. How come? But Why? because because in Idaho. I would have been like the biggest drug dealer they'd seen in years. Yeah. And so they're immediately going to push that file over to the feds. But I, a guy like me was like a dime a dozen. Like that's everybody was getting it like that. And that was the era. It was Wait, just so like how did they find time. the money in the, what was it? It was probably just a I, But they, the DEA did was in my apartment though. So they were, they were interested in it. They just decided not to pick it up, but they were definitely, they were in there. They were like, so did they just randomly open up a package with money in it? They, I think, they probably intercepted it. They intercepted it, it and let it get. They delivered. had a dog on it. I think that hit it, but they they lied in the. Uh, it could have been a. It could have been a, a CI dude. It could have been a confidential informant. That's another thing with drugs. Yeah, bro, you don't and, and, and the law, dude. They say they have to. It's called discovery paperwork. So when you're a defendant in a case, the the, the state or the feds, the government has to show you legally what evidence they have on you yeah. and how they got it. But they lie in that shit. They leave shit out all the time. So. When I was reading the discovery paperwork, I'm like, they're leaving out all of these links to how they found it. So I think, I mean, somebody could have been talking. I was dealing with guys on the fucking so what? East somebody Coast got in that trouble I barely knew, and then they just said your exactly. Name. Could have so, said they could have said a name. Yeah, could somebody have, can get caught with a pound and be like, hey, bro, I'll give this guy up in Oregon. Just yeah. give me six months, and I'll take my little misdemeanor. Right. But I'll give you the big fish in Oregon. Right. 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 So right. So they'll be like, well, they'll be like, well, what you got going on? Well, I'm about to mail him a package of a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. If y'all just follow the package. Yeah, and the, and and that way the case mounts from there. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. then they have a semi credible witness mm-hmm. who a real lawyer would probably tear his ass apart. Yeah. Because of course. A person like that probably got so much shit on a criminal record. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like these yeah. are they're not upstanding people, yeah, dude. These, these are not fucking Princeton graduates. You know? What I mean? <laughs> no, no. How was jail for eighteen months? I mean, was it was awful. A blast. No, uh, <laughs> it was uh, county jail was awful because it's so crowded, overcrowded. Hey, bro, it's so overcrowded. Mess with you? There's no. Uh, I mean, I got in fights, but seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't. It wasn't like on the level of like getting but extorted. It's well, yeah, there's. But you, you know, got some bad boys up there. Yeah, 
Yeah. I would not want to be a lot in of Mexican prison gangs. in California. No, nah, I wouldn't either. I don't know what I would. You, you I don't have know what to. I would do. I'd probably have to shave my head and. Yeah, you have to join. <laughs> get that swastika. Fucking. But I, I go to I go to the, I go to the white boys and be like. I'll get the swastika. Is there any way I can make it a rub-off tattoo? Is there any way we can just get it? <laughs> I don't want to have this permanently on there, guy. So were you winning the fights or losing the fights? Was I, I, the won, fights? I won my – the first fight I got in was re- – it was a good fight. It was like a really Why even – I felt fight? good about it because he was, he was talking shit and he wanted, to, he wanted me to like – because I was like playing basketball with black guys, dominoes, <laughs> you know. Like it's just all the fun things I like to do. I was like, guy, I got it. This is what black yeah. people like to do. I gotta, and you gotta take the fight. And I gotta take the fight. And yeah. he was he was punking me out in front of the you know, the other inmates. You so I'm like, go back to yard if exactly. You so yeah. I'm like, you let's meet me in the bathroom then. What? You know. So yeah. So we got in a nice. We it was like a pretty. It was an even scrap. It was a good. Nobody got really hurt. You know, like he probably got a few more blows in than me. But like I got in some. I, I connected solid. Yeah. And you're long. Yeah, I'm long, dude. Tall. I'm long. I would hate to fight this motherfucker. Yeah. Bro. Damn. My arms are short. He'd just be tagging me. Oh, yeah. You get tagged up. I... I'll just, I yeah. just start wearing a dress. I would be like. <laughs> <laughs> the guy from MASH. Fuck those bathroom fights. Uh, I ain't in that. You, uh, so they automatically put your ass in protective custody. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's where you fight in the bathroom, though, because there's no cameras in there. Yeah. Yeah, you fight on yard. They'll fucking around and add a, what is it, SDR? Mm, depends. I don't How know. bad they get injured. It just depends. If it's a fair one, they'll just send you the hole for 30 days. Or did you go to the hole? I did go to the hole, too. What is that? Solitary confinement? Yeah, yeah. That shit is... That shit is... Did you go crazy a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I mean, it was the most depressed I've ever been, for sure. Seriously? And it's not like... It's not like... What do you it's do It's not all even pitch day? black, dude. You just get tons of jerk time in. You know what I mean? And you, <laughs> you sweat it out, dude. You sweat it out. I love sleeping, so I feel like I could oh, probably yeah. get away with a lot of this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's true. It's true. It was. I was a very lazy inmate, dude. People are like, John, why, why are you going to come work out, dude? What are, you, what are you being so lazy for? I'm like, guy, look where you are. There's a place to just kick back and have a little vacation on the taxpayer? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is it. Right. <laughs> These <laughs> bars will be here. You're doing life. Yeah, man. <laughs> they don't but have like you, purple mattresses. Or something <laughs> like that. Had you went to the feds, bro, because you know my family went to the feds. Bro, yeah, yeah. They were. You got money in the feds, dog. Oh, you're kicked you, up, dude. You're living probably better than most of these people on the street, <laughs> bro. Like lobster dinner, steak yeah, dinners. Yeah, I'm going what? to the feds next yeah. time. I get if I ever have to do crime feds, again, it's absolutely. gonna be a big yeah. time <laughs> score, a big time drug yeah. deal. It's like because I'm not going to the state prison yeah. again. It's just yeah. too fucked up in yeah. there. So did you, you ever, have money that they didn't find? And the did you have other yeah. money hidden away? I did, somewhere? I did, and I used that to pay a lawer. And Where I had did it you stashed, hide that money? And I used the money to move to L.A. when I got out. Where'd you hide that money? I can't tell you that, Bill. God. Wait for seven more years. All right. So. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, yeah, man. Fuck. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, it's what it is. Yeah, because, dog, if. It was if a that, special time. I don't regret any of it because it was a very special. Like, I was like, okay, weed is going to be fucking legal in a few years. Right. Like, this is like prohibition. It's like the, so it's like the people it of the record? 20s. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they can. I, I asked my, I asked what, my dad. Do you have a felony? That. I got a lot. Of, I got three felonies. And one so of them is money travel? laundering. Yeah. You got a passport? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got a, I got a Canadian passport, dog. How'd you do How? that? I'm a felon going back and forth to Canada. How is got, that possible? Isn't that crazy? Because my mom is from Canada. So we got uh, the kids got dual citizenship. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you can yeah. go anywhere. I can go anywhere. Doesn't that suck, though, if you're a felon oh you gosh. can't travel? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Dude, you got a DUI. Why you can't yeah, go to Canada. Yeah, if you have a DUI. I know a lot of comics that are like, yeah. I'm yeah. fucked. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Little Wayne can't go to fucking Canada. No JFL for you. No, no JFL. Oh, so probably, well, probably wasn't going to happen anyways, but still. <laughs> if you can't control your drinking, you're probably not that good on stage. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, in the initial... Was that a shot at me? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Some no. of the Was greatest comics are alcoholics. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm talk- no, when, you, uh, when you're already famous and you become okay. an alcoholic versus oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. leading up to JFL yeah, yeah, yeah. is when you're starting yeah. out. So yeah. if you can't control your drinking... When you're first starting, get do all that shit when you get famous. William, close your ears. In, in, in this day and age, <laughs> in this day and age, it's probably you're right. It's probably not going to happen. It's right. too competitive. There's yeah. too many people are good. If you're getting drunk, they'll be like, "Fuck you." We got ten other people that are just as yeah. good as you. But if you can drink, but props to a, a motherfucker that can have four beers and go on stage and just be ripping. You I know can't what I mean? drink beer or, or wine. three mini pitchers. Yeah, or three mini pitchers. <laughs> I don't think William can perform sober. That's the. <laughs> do you believe that? I I do. I, I don't know. How you it believe would, that? I don't know how it would be. How I mean, do you think we've it would never be? seen it. What do you mean you've never seen it? 
you've never just been what they sober. said. <laughs> 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 What are you saying? I hear you. I totally. I enjoy drinking. The so day you come to this podcast, it's probably isn't great. The day you I come totally to this do. podcast with a bottle of water, it's probably over for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, motherfucker? You totally believe? Yes, I believe that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, bro. So. Um, did you so three felonies? Damn, bro. But so one of them is a class B felony, money laundering. So okay. I don't think that's expungeable, and that's tied in with, with, with the the drug trafficking only conspiracy thing, beef. Only so. thing I don't like about so you can't vote either. No, that's all a myth, dude. You can vote. I think yeah. it's only like Florida. There's oh. only a few states. Oh, can you? yeah. Where with the most vote. racist states, they're still like yeah. not letting so felons vote. What but. was the worst shit? Did you ever see anybody get shanked? I saw the aftermath of one, mm. but I didn't see him actually because it happened so quick. Like, to actually see somebody getting shanked is pretty What'd unlucky. It's like seeing a whale. You wow. know, you're like, oh, there it is. You know? <laughs> you, you're like, oh, it's you so see, cool. You see him when he goes back I thought I'd water. see it in the wild. Yeah, exactly. You only see the fucking splashes. You're like, oh, I missed it. Fuck. So this money you gave all of us at the beginning of the show is probably counterfeit, right? Like, this is a- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trump 2020. <laughs> Hell yeah. Who brought that in? Nick DiPaolo? I didn't know Nick DiPaolo was in studio. Oh... That's crazy, bro. Dude, I met a money. I met a money counterfeiter in there. The guy was getting to go, getting ready to go away for like fifteen. He was getting ready to go to the feds. What? And uh, dude, the guy was balling. Mm. Like he was printing millions of dollars. Yeah, nowadays dude, buying houses any, any everywhere. It was nowadays. It's so hard. So to yeah. the fact. Yeah. That, how do people do? It, yeah. Well, isn't it so hard? Well, to make it is. Fake money? I mean, it's easy because you could print like the printers nowadays. You can make some really legit looking money, but. Uh, I know a lot of them just use like twenties. They don't do like hundreds and right. stuff because yeah, no one's yeah. gonna check. Oh, is this a real twenty? That's a good you know, point. Like, That's a good yeah, point. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you, once you have the equipment, then it's easy. I think it's hard to procure it. I think you got to know a, a, yeah. a Chinese person. I got. How did you get? I got right? got you with know some Chinese. Fake, I got got with some fake money before. You did? Yeah. Like, did six, you know it? Six hundred and twenties. No, I sold some shoes off of uh, like offer up or some shit. The guy deleted his account. I got it off though. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not going to say where I got it off at, but I got it. Bro, you're like Nikki Barnes. You're Mr. Untouchable, David. You know what I mean? <laughs> just like, just like you just, you're just the chosen one. Yeah. It is Love what it. it is. You know what rappers do is they go to a website like this, like wish.com, and they just sell stacks of money. So if you ever see like those rappers with like tons of money, and you're like, why? how the fuck did they get that? Right. Look at this shit. I mean, it looks real as fuck. Holy and, shit. And it's not illegal for you to actually buy this. Uh, it's Because they say it's fake it. money. Yeah, and it's you could have this in your car and get pulled over, and you won't get in trouble. It's if you try to use it as right. money. Look, that's $14. Oh, my <laughs> God. And they buy fucking a million in cash for 14 bucks. That's fucking amazing, dude. Yo, these rappers are phonies. Yeah, I know. If, if Holy you, shit. If you got a bunch of fake money, what I will say is go to a foreign country. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. How come you could use it? Dude, they don't know. Know. dude hookers in Colombia could not oh, tell yeah, that's bro. fake, dude. You can, you can buy what you want. Just don't be there more than like two or three days because you, know, you might end up yeah, in bro, the back of a trunk. They got their own fucking way to police shit down there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, just be there maybe a day or two, you know? Yo, you know? that's fucking wild. And make sure, you, make sure you get change back so you can have some clean, <laughs> <laughs> so you have some clean shit. Mm-hmm. I'll get you a lot of pesos, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what happened the first time you got caught? I got set up by my best what you, client, dude, what? my best customer. He wore a wire. So what? I was, yeah, dude. What I was, were you uh, selling to him? I was just selling him pounds of weed. This is when I was still selling locally. This was In like Portland? 2008. At beginning of 2009, yeah, this was in Portland. And so they raided the crib. They raided the spot. I was, I was golfing with my grandfather, and I got a text. They were like, hey, when are you going to be back? Uh, it was the guy, the kid that set me up. I uh, said, like, when are you going to be back? I want to meet you at the crib. I need a couple of those things. And so I fucking, I was like, all right, What were you selling there. to him? Just weed. Pounds. Just pounds weed. Of pounds weed. of weed. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so I dropped my grandpa off. I was like, all right, I'll see you for dinner. Papa, and then I, I, yeah. I drive up to the house where we were living. It was me and two roommates, and I take a left onto you know going down the street to where the house is, yeah. and the, the whole fucking block is cordoned off. I see suburbans with fucking lights going is and your shit. Heart I see my roommates who are the most law-abiding <laughs> citizens in handcuffs. I was like, sorry guys, whoop, and I hit it in reverse, dude, and I try to bone out of there, but they fucking chased me and I got oh, out. Oh, did they? Fuck, yeah, yeah. I would have been dead if I looked like David, dude. 
I got the, I got the white boy <laughs> yeah. special. I get the right. white boy special. They jumped out. They didn't even have their guns pointed at me. I was like, oh. So they so saw you white. hit it in reverse. Yeah, they did. They did. I, I the, yeah. I waited good. a second too long, and there I heard somebody like yell, "There he goes!" What? Yeah, dude. So I fucking tried to give him the little. Uh, I tried to give him the little slip. Oh my god! Yeah, well, my boy got. Uh, I ain't gonna, well, my boy, I ain't gonna say what state, but he got caught up. Uh, he was pretty smart with it. He was delivering drugs in Uber and Lyft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, it's just, gotta he, happen all the time. He just put the drugs in there. If if you're a Lyft or Uber driver, because then how, there, it's it, it's deniability. You're like I have I had a hundred people in my car today. Anything like, in the back seat is right. not yours. I right. Think if if you are a Lyft or Uber driver, you should probably traffic drugs in the state that you live in. Hell yeah! <laughs> just and now, if you're a Lyft, correction. If you're an Uber driver, you should just sell drugs because you're getting raped by Uber guy. Oh, you're not yeah. getting and enough money. And they just passed a new law. Oh, do you see that shit? Like what, uh, what? I, I tweeted about this last night. Uh, so the last couple times I've tried to use Uber, like from my house to the comedy store, it's like fourteen bucks. It's always been fourteen yeah. bucks, right? So the last couple times it's said fifteen to eighteen dollars. And I'm like, what the hell does that mean? And if you click on it, like to call the Uber, it says, oh, it's $18. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why is it $18? Is it surging? But no, the last couple of times I've done it, found out that they raised their prices like $5 uh, or more uh, because they don't want to pay the drivers as employees. So they found this new loophole. And the, how they do it is making it, them have to charge more money. So last night uh, it was eighteen dollars to go to the comedy store, but then I went on Lyft and it was thirteen bucks. Yeah, because, oh, because Lyft, I guess, is following the rules or doing something. They are Lyft. cocksuckers, dude. I, I think Uber. Yeah. I think yellow cabs are going to come back because Uber Do you really? is yes, because <laughs> Uber is going to get Uber costs almost as much as a yellow cab now from like the airport, for yeah. example. So it's like it's, interesting, it, and people and people know that the drivers. Are aren't making any more money, yeah, right. and, and don't Uber they have to do background more. checks on the taxi drivers? I mean, I don't even know. I, I it probably won't I happen. I went to the grocery they're... store today, and there was one of those petition mm. guys <clears throat> trying to make people sign petitions to uh, make Uber drivers have to have background checks. Yeah, dude, they they just kicked him out of Colombia, Colombia, South America. Yeah. I just saw on the news they were like, no more, no mas Uber in fucking <laughs> no Colombia, motherfucker, no bro. They're like protecting their yellow cabs. Yeah. I'm like, I like that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. But I've were... liked Lyft. I take Lyft all the time. I take Lyft, Lyft is more. good. Lyft is good. Lyft it's is a little cheaper. gay, the pink thing. But well, I at least they don't have the mustaches anymore. Yeah, Remember exactly. when they first oh came my out? God. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? What are people fucking wearing these mustaches? Wait, so what happened? What did you get charged with when they busted you? <gasps> busted you the first, first time? First time was just possession with intent to distribute, you know? Did you if you would have been in California, that shit would have been dismissible. Because I think in California, you can't record somebody unless they know. Yep. Wires happen. So you what happened? Get with the fuck out of yeah, here! You, yeah. you can't even wear a wire and get me to commit to some shit and use it in court. Well, maybe on the state level, on the federal level, yeah, they, they probably can. Do whatever they want. Yeah. What yeah. happened with the buddy? I wonder what he's up to now. The guy who well, ran it on you. Uh, I saw. Okay, so here's a story. Here's a story. I ran into him. At, Is that awkward? I ran, well, so my buddy's. <laughs> uh, I'm admitting Weird. to a crime here, but whatever. Uh, my buddies pinned him up against a wall. We, we saw him at a bar, and my buddies pinned him up against. We, we, they How dra- soon they, after the fact is this? Us? Was this was when my case was still pending? So so I bailed out really quickly. I had no, I had a spotless record up to that point. So they arrested me. They, they were like, we we can you can tell give us who your connection is, yeah. and you won't even you won't even do a night in jail. I was like, go fuck yourself. So they arrested me. I bailed out. Made it home for dinner with Papa. You know, wow. miss you, Papa. Rest in peace. Wow. And then uh, and then I saw. <laughs> so we were out. <clears throat> this was like two months later. We were out at a okay. bar in downtown Portland, and we saw this kid and so my fucking my boys dragged him out of the bar kidnapping and uh (laughs) (laughs) pinned him up against a wall assault and then uh and they're like fuck and 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 i just i'm just not a gangster because i should i should have like knocked his teeth out yeah i should have really hurt him (laughs) but i just um i just punched him you know i just caved his chest in punched we punched him a bunch in the fucking gut we didn't do any real damage, but you know we, you know, humiliated him. Yeah, no, that's it. You know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, right. I hear like, you. What do like, you do? I like hear you. Can't, what do you do? You can't you're murder. Kill him. a fucking right. witness. Right. I mean, you right. could, but you would. Ha- you had to be on a way another level. No, it'd have to be on some on some real kingpin shit. He'd be yeah. like, in order to make somebody disappear to where his name is clear, he'd probably need to be clearing a million a month. Easily, yeah, yeah, and, and you'd have to like, uh, it, it would it would only be worth it. In theory, right? <laughs> right? If you were an immoral person, 
it would only be worth it if like he was gonna put you away for life. Yeah. Like it would have to be on some really yeah. like is the last resort but if it's type like, shit. If it's like twelve months to twenty four months, exactly, then he'll live. Exactly, he'll get known as a rat. He'll probably get fucked up. But yeah, yeah, no, he was done after that. Like I like I let everybody know. You I let, mean, there was no. You follow so him what? On he just. How did he get busted? He calls me on Instagram. Really? No, I'm kidding. Oh. I, don't know. <laughs> I wonder how he got busted. Just the cops busted him one of day. Of course, yeah. And then he yeah. just said your name. Yeah, yeah. He was he was out in some suburb. You know what I mean? You know, selling to white boys. That's how. It which happened, is always bro. dangerous because the white kids rat, but they also have all the money to buy the drugs. So it's like, what are you gonna do? Black kids right. too now. Black bro. kids rat now too. God, God damn. damn it! That's the game's cultural. Fuck, <laughs> the game's <laughs> fucked up, yeah, bro. It's twisted. It's done. Bro. I did some shit when I was young. <laughs> And and black kids who act like I used to hang with nothing but gangsters, bro. Like yeah. even though I lived in the suburbs, I hung. And these motherfuckers ratted my suburban ass out, not knowing I got money for a fucking lawyer. Y'all don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, they probably had to pick like a fall guy. They're right. like, oh, David's in the suburbs. Right. Dude, Lucas, <laughs> Lucas right. ain't a, right. Lucas is a cul-de-sac gangster, bro. <laughs> He's in Xenia Avenue. I had to do. Uh, so it ended up. So so the the crime was as uh, it, it it involved underage drinking, and also uh, like destruction of property and a whole bunch of because we like we we like stole we did some like we did I did it with some gangster people and some white people. So, um, it was like a, a school prank that just went too far, bro. Mm-hmm. To like, we fucked up principal's cars. <laughs> I we, love that. We like, we, you know, we lived in the country, so we like put chickens in the school. And we, <laughs> yeah, we did. A, and, and, and they ratted. And, and I ended up with just, because uh, I had so much going for me, like with football and shit. So I ended up doing like 20 hours community service. Yeah. And ended up uh, just really smoking cigarettes with the guy who was running the community service. That's terrific. He, dude. Knew, he knew In my the family. South. If you're a good football player, <laughs> yeah. you get away with anything. He knew my family, bro. So it was like, oh, you ain't got to do shit, man. You're going to be gone in a couple of weeks off the yeah, school. That's right. That's right. Just ride around with me, and we would go to the woods, and he would roll up. <laughs> Uh, what else are they called? Buglers? We roll up yeah. cigarettes in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's some straight community service shit, dude. Community service is awesome. You hear so many stories out of fucking community service. I had community service last year, bro. You did? So, yeah, yeah. My lawyer. Bro, I don't... If you got money to get a lawyer, get one. Because yeah. I was facing uh, like a low-level felony for this is my third time getting caught driving. So, technically... My license, well, my privilege was suspended to drive in California because I was just refusing to get a California license. So I had got caught with, like, my third time, and the DA uh, in Torrance was offering me 10 days in jail and a felony. I'm like, there's no, If I have a felony, that. it's going to yeah. be for some real shit. Yeah, like, exactly. Did you have a license, like a Georgia license, or you just didn't Yeah, have I had a, a Georgia license. I was like, because I would tell them, like, look, I go back and forth, motherfucker. Yeah. I got property in Georgia. How yeah. can y'all make me? Yeah. Have a fucking California. How'd you get in trouble for that? I have a Colorado Black people, license. Right yeah, I got stopped for driving a nice car in Torrance at an awkward hour. I'll give you the whole story. So I was driving a nice car in Torrance. I was just uh, leaving uh, the airport, I believe, going to see someone. And um, I was tired as shit. I had just took a red-eye flight. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and they tried to say they pulled me over because there was a lot of flocking in Torrance. People breaking into nice people's houses. And I'm like, flocking? flocking. Yeah. Yeah, like flocking. like geese, like a flock no, of like, birds. Look up flock flocking. Of... Type in flocking. It's like birds. <gasps> walk a flocking. Flocking. <laughs> walk a flocking flame. I love walk a flocking flame. Yo, Congress or Matt Large Group? No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe that's not what it's called. Uh, look up. All right, another word for getting pussy. Flocking uh, <laughs> urban dictionary. Shit out of her. <laughs> you break into a residence with intent to steal stuff. Right. Originated in L.A. Ah. Uh, Right. Like I was flocking. I took his bitch in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me six months in the county because I got caught flocking. Right. So they Can was I so- say this one? No. You said, David. No. My <laughs> niggas flock in the house. Hope he come out with the safe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they were, they were saying there's a lot of flocking in Torrance. Um, and uh, so it was early in the morning. I'm at a turn light trying to turn left. Yeah. So you know how there's the green arrow. To, I was almost on the interstate. There's a green arrow yeah. to turn left, and then mm-hmm. there's the green lights to go straight. So mm-hmm. the green lights to go straight flash green. So I jumped out. I was like, oh, shit. 
you know. Oh, just, so you thought that was the turn signal. Right, because I was just ready to go home, man. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I was in the pedestrian crosswalk. They lit me like a block away. Um, they asked, uh, they asked for my Georgia's, they asked for my license. I gave them a Georgia's license and they were like, uh, do you have a California license? I was like, no. And, uh, they were like, well, you're a resident here. I was like, I got a place here and also got a place in Georgia. I go back and forth. So then when they ran it, they saw I had two priors. Yeah, bro. And, uh. They brought their buddy out. You know, when they bring the second car, you're like, oh, I'm going to tell you who was the worst one, bro. The black guy was the worst one. (laughs) Right. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's right. The white officer was actually nice to me because, um, like. Um, Why did it matter having the two priors? Oh, I love it. I the love two it. priors okay. matter because the situation should have already been handled. I should already got a California. I should already got a California license. And, oh, I see. I yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, so, did the black cop go, you think you tough. You think <laughs> you're tough. <laughs> the black okay, cop. Stay a little like you. The black cop put me in handcuffs and put me on the hood of his car, bro. <laughs> By this time, was I, he like, was he like, shh, it's my first week on the job. I just got to prove myself. You're all good. Bro, it was like an hour and a Don't half. Shoot I was me, out there, I was out there for like an hour and a half, bro. And uh, by this no time, way. by this time, the sun was coming up. Yeah. I was in a residential area. Yeah. And people were coming out, and I'm looking like a real criminal. Yeah. In a fucking yeah. BMW. Yeah. Did tenant, they search the car? Yeah, I'm about to get to that. In all a, right. In a BMW with tinted windows. So, uh, he, uh, I'm like, why am I in handcuffs? And he's like, we just want to make sure you're not a threat. I'm like, dude, I'm, look me up, bro. I don't have anything. Like, driving yeah. without a fucking license. Yeah. That's Come a real on, threat. Guy. The car has insurance. The car's registered in California. Y'all got y'all money, man. Like, yeah, leave me yeah, alone exactly. with my fucking license. This was before Kill Tony. Right. You know what before I mean? Kill now, Tony. now they'd be like, oh, okay, well, he's good. Yeah. We've seen him. Well, I got a California license now. So um, he looks in the car. And uh, there was a little piece of joint that I think my brother had. A little, like, papers. He smoked papers. And there were, like, four of the bottles of alcohol from, um, like, the airplane. Right. In my cup holder. And he was like, we're going to need to search the car. I'm like, why? Why do you need to search my car? You know what it is, guy. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> You're profiled. So I go, let me speak to your, 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 your highest person in right now. I need to speak to your watch commandment. I need to commander, whatever the fuck is. I need to speak to him right now, bro. And I need to probably call my lawyer. Yeah. And he's like, well, we could get the warrant out here in a couple of hours and you could just sit here in the back. Let of the him car. do it. Yeah. Dude, let him <laughs> yeah. do it. Yeah. That's what they tell you in, in jail. Yeah. They're like, what? doesn't what? matter. Even if it's like they got you, even if you think they have you with your pants down and they're like, well, guy, I'm going to get a warrant. Do it then. Make right. them get the warrant. So, uh, oh, wow. yeah. so he, uh, he let me, uh, I knew nothing was in my car, and I was tired. I literally just wanted to go home. So after, like, 30 minutes, I told him to go ahead and search. I said, go ahead and search it. Right. Because he did not want his watch commander to come out there, which probably would have, in turn, led to him not searching the car. Yeah. If he didn't want him to come out there. Cause yeah. Because, like, bro, this is. Yeah. So they were like, you know we can tow your car. Because uh, he made me call Georgia to prove that I had a valid license in Georgia. Like, he was doing the most. Damn. These are Torrance cops? These are Torrance cops. Oh, yeah, that's why. A black, like, it's like, you don't got shit to do, man. Like, bro, LAPD would have been like, get the fuck out of here, Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the black uh, officer was doing all this, and by this time, an older white officer came. Apparently, he was a captain or something because he didn't have the bars in the back like normal police cars right. to protect him. Right. So obviously no criminals. He's not rolling it. Right. Anybody. No criminals yeah. are not in his car. So he comes and he's like, what's going on, buddy? And I was like, I I told him who I was, told him who my parents are. And I was like, bro, Google it. Like, I'm a fucking pretty much law-abiding citizen. You Good thing you didn't tell him who your great uncle right. was. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to drag you in. And I was like, look, man, I don't, I don't do shit, bro. I just try to get home. I'll take the ticket. But all this extra shit is unnecessary. Yeah. Searching the car. Yeah, no. I'm like, bro, I just got off a plane, man. Yeah, I just yeah. got off a plane. So. Bro, that's the worst, though, is when you're super tired. Right. Every time you get bagged, every time you get arrested, <laughs> you're you're not ready for it. You know what I mean? Like, like you just, yeah. you, it's so, and that, but that's a tactic. Like, yeah. that's why they come for you that's first how they take, thing that's in the how morning. They take dude. criminals to jail, five o'clock in the morning. That's right. That's, that's why right. he looks so crazy. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. That's why he looks so fucking crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm like, bro, look. And so he's, I was like, he was like, well, what can I do? I said, the first thing you could do is not have me looking like a criminal out yeah, here yeah. in this majority white neighborhood. Yeah, take the fucking bracelets with, off. Yeah, take guy. these handcuffs off. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, take these goddamn handcuffs yeah. off. 
So he's like, uh, the white officer's like, well, will you show me what's in your car? I said, yes, I have no problem showing you. I'll reach wherever you want me to reach. I'll show you whatever you need me to show yeah. you. So in my, um, normally my car is a mess. Thank God it wasn't because then that. So uh, all I had in the back seat was a duffel bag. I said, here, go through it. And uh, in the trunk, I had my suitcase. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, he opened my suitcase, did a little scan. He's like, yeah, you're good. So um, the white officer was like, um, I'm not telling you to drive your car, but if you drive your car, we're not looking. <laughs> no, that's dope. Right. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah, yeah. He said, you have insurance and everything, but if you get pulled over again, do not tell them that you got pulled over. I said, I'm going straight home. So uh, I went the first time, and the lady was trying to fucking whoop me with the 10 days in jail and and the fucking felony, and I'm like, bullshit. I went by myself. So I called my mom. I was like, Mom, I think I need a lawyer. So we uh, got a lawyer out here, paid him like 7500 got that shit reduced to nothing. Yeah. And I had to do like 60 hours of community service. But why, why, And why does a paid lawyer, he would do the same thing that a public defender would do. It's just they hate poor people. Right. Everybody hates poor people. <laughs> That's the reality. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you paid for this lawyer? We just like you more. You're more valuable yeah. to society. I do not like that district attorney to this day. But, <clears throat> no, but, DAs are the worst, bro. They're, they're, they're like, they have to be reined in. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, it got to the story of community service. I had 60 hours. And my lawyer, I don't know how he did it. He got me two years to complete the shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you're probably still running behind. Let's nah, face I, it. I completed it, uh, was it uh, last January mm. or, or last year sometime. I completed like a year and a half. And But anyway, uh, what it came to, this, I did it at an Armenian warehouse. I had to do nothing. Hmm. I had to do hmm. nothing. I would go there for like two hours. And Richard was, Armenian? Yes, Richard Armenian. I know that, man. I, I had to go there. I would go there for like two hours, and they'd sign off for like eight. They just didn't want Love us it. there. Yeah, yeah. They didn't want us there in their shit. No, they of course do. not. Of course <laughs> but, not. They got but, some kind of state yeah, that kickback. Shit, that shit was lovely. Yeah, bro. we're Armenian. Get out of our fucking warehouse, please. <laughs> Yeah, we're Armenian. We have cases on us already. Yeah, I remember, get uh, out of the warehouse, please. I remember I had like 30 hours left, and uh, the Armenian guy was like, so he had a uh, U-Haul tow hitch. Yeah. No, he had a, he had bought a truck that had a U-Haul tow hitch like installed on the truck, and he had hit somebody's car at his house. And he was like, if I take this tow hitch off before I go back home, they won't know it's me. So he's like, if you help me uninstall this, I'll just write the rest of your shit. <laughs> right, so, right. so you were you were abetting in a crime during community service. I love it, dude. For a crime, I love it. They were like, oh my god. He was like, help me take this toe uh, hitch off. Oh, that's and fucking then the amazing. rest of your community service would be done. <laughs> <laughs> so we took the toe hitch off and I was through, bro. Oh and he was my like, God. Don't turn this shit in for two weeks. Yo, that's fucking <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. No, I uh yeah, I'd rather I'd almost rather go to jail than fucking help the community. Uh, bro, you know what if, I mean? If, they don't deserve it. If, they fucking you know, they I really I, don't deserve it. I don't know if I want to do three days in uh, LA County, but uh, I I do three days in Torrance. No, you could do three days in LA, bro. You just fucking Can bang I? it out. You could, William, yeah. Not with a bad neck, though. They'd fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. I'd fuck you up with your neck right now. Yeah, bro. You gotta, like, why are you looking at me? Like, why is your back all straight? <laughs> yeah. You got you to gotta make a point. You got to make a point. I've yeah. been I've been to uh, L.A. County before, but I didn't really. It was just for a few hours. Well, you were in the, well, they have the towers. They have multiple L.A. counties. Like, the ones where, where motherfuckers get killed every day are those two, like. Twin towers. Twin towers. Mm -hmm. What do you mean uh, where they get killed? People, they say somebody gets. They say it's one of the worst jails. Like, human rights organizations have gone to that jail and be like, this is so bad. What is this, Nicaragua? Like, what this happens? shit is. Somebody gets fucking stabbed every day, William. Yeah, because our, our prisons are so full in California that you can stay in there for like a year or yeah. two. Yeah. Right? Oh, my God, bro. You've, so I, you're housed with the worst waiting to get yeah. shipped off Gang to the wayside. Yeah. yeah. Gangbangers. And, and, so, and so, if you. And it's a whole problem with the system, right? But it's. Even if, if you're waiting, if you're too poor to bail out. You're not guilty until you're proven so in right. a court of law, right? And so if your date is two years out then, and you don't have money to bail out, you're in jail even years. though you have not been found guilty Yikes. of anything. It's yeah, a fucking yeah, anti yeah. – it's against the Constitution, but it's, right. it's, it's, it's all over And America. they're about to get rid of bail bondsmen in California. <clears throat> right, which, yeah. which they think is doing good, but it's just going to fuck people even more because now there's going to be no Why are they bonds. getting rid of them? Because they charge usurious fucking interest rates. Yeah, but people don't have money to fucking, so a bail bond will take 
a bond, a like, lien on your mom's yeah. house or something. Until you show your what, what? until you show your ass up in court. What was that? Are there some Asians having dinner? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I heard a kid. Oh, sorry, Janice. You hear what he love you, Janice. Sorry. Yeah, man. So you think I can make it in jail? They probably think you're crazy. How do I? Bro. Act? Yeah, yeah. I, if you just act, if you just be yourself, <laughs> yes. they'll, they'll probably leave you alone. Right. So like go. this motherfucker killed his wife. What you do on kill Tony? <laughs> <laughs> you know how you do your monologue? Do that shit as soon as. <laughs> Do that shit as soon as you just, walk just in. Do your ads. Just walk around doing your ads. That'd be hilarious. Oh yeah. my like, god. Richard Martinez? Oh yeah, where's god. Richard Martinez? <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for your piece of shit ass for two weeks uh, now, and I'm finally here. Where is he? They, they fucking uh, love it. They, oh they, my god. they either love you or hate yeah, you, bro. Exactly. Exactly. That's that's gotta be a TV show. They gotta make a good if I get any juice. I'm pitching my fucking script about they, prison. They got it is one. so much funny. And they're like 21. No, there's but that's a, that's the that's with broads. The orange is the new black. That no, shit no, no, no. The garbage. 21 days like in jail. What's that shit? Uh, yeah, I think that's what it's called. No, there needs Love to be after a lockup. Oh yeah, yeah I'm like addicted to that. Do y'all watch that? Love after lockup. Love no, it. No. What is that? No. Oh, look up Love after lockup. I was watching it with the lady friend a bunch, but now I don't know what's going to happen after the disaster that was last night. One of you guys might end up on that show, dude. <laughs> How funny would that be? You could visit your girl in jail? <laughs> you know these people are probably not even locked up. No, fuck no. These are, these are all aspiring actors. Jaywalking in charge. <laughs> exactly. Once or you might see Jeremiah Watkins on here. <laughs> with a fucking face yeah, tattoo. Exactly. Oh, that was some gay sex. Did you yeah. see that? <laughs> was it? Love I think it. so. Life after a lockup. Flashy shit. Oh, God. But women love men incarcerated. Yeah, for they some do. Reason. They, because that's how they want every man. They want him to. It's like a hack joke, right? They want him where they can see him, and they know you're not out. Exactly. Fucking dirty dick that's what I've gathered. Yeah, right. right. Men are in prison, fucking the shit out of nurses. Yeah, that's true. Hey, can you stop slurping in the goddamn <laughs> microphone? Dude, God no damn. way. This is so fucking... Are y'all, is that you making that noise? No. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I did start probably 10 minutes ago. I started hearing that noise thinking, am I making that fucking noise? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking red, man. <laughs> you got all those fucking sound effects. I'm like, God damn, William, you fucking <laughs> piece of I'm shit. I'm slurping it. Oh, oh yeah, that's red, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, there's Marcelino. Dude, look at that. That guy's got. That guy's done some serious time. When you got, she tra- looks when you got like, traps like that, dude. She looks like the type of chick that'll take care of an inmate. Fat, Absolutely, fat. She, she'll keister in a couple <laughs> of fucking grams of weed for you. Dude. A fat chick. Yeah. yeah, she smuggles in some some dope under her fucking. Titties, if, if you know. If you can meet her, you a fucking her. fat correctional officer in prison, you're yeah, good. Yeah, absolutely. You just dude. can't make that bitch mad. No, hell no, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Bro, I just, it's just that. <laughs> this guy. This guy. This guy. This guy fucking. Yeah, motherfuckers are getting married in jail and shit. I'm like, what are you doing, guy? Is that, dude, uh, that Jerry really Springer? Happen? Oh, my no. God. Yeah, it is. Oh Racist. my, that's pedophile Jerry Springer. <laughs> Jetty, old Jetty, 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 Jetty Springer, Jetty. <laughs> yeah. Look, go Jetty back Springer. to that guy, bro. Fucking some white people. That's got... a sad. That's a sad couple on it. Some white people. Oh my god, that. that's so good. That's like Bill Gates and fucking Jerry Springer. <laughs> Grown cum, dude. That's wild. That guy is a fucking pedophile. Yeah. A hey, lot of pedophiles, dude. That's what most people are locked up for is, is on some But they can't seriously? be in the general population. Oh, my, so many. Well, in Oregon they were. Oregon's oh. not as dangerous. Would they still California. get messed with? In California, they'll uh, kill yeah. you. Yeah. That, they will kill. If you fucking go on the yard in California and your paperwork ain't right. Yeah. And, what do you and, mean your paperwork's not right? I just, I, don't you love how innocent he is? <laughs> what do you mean your paperwork? Just go in there, go into county jail asking questions like that. Yeah. <laughs> What, what, do, you, what do you mean you murdered somebody? Yeah, what's Tyrone? going on? <laughs> <laughs> paperwork. You got to have good paperwork, bro. It's the only way you're walking. Meaning, like, if you go in there and you have, like, you molested a child, yeah. then they're going to be like, oh, there's the child molester. Bad yeah, paperwork. Yeah, yeah it's pa- bad paperwork is your snitch or, or a sex crime. That's all it is. 
That's, and if, yeah. if you got that, you got bad paperwork. Yeah, but most of the you time... you don't go to the yard? I met a motherfucker that killed his wife and his kid in there, and he had good paperwork. Well, that's considered that's good, good paperwork. paperwork. That's yeah, good paperwork. but if you fucked, if you're if you're 19 and you fuck a 16 year old, you got bad paperwork, guy. You better, you're in trouble. You're gonna yeah. be in PC. Yeah, yeah. What's PC, David? Protective you remember who you're talking to. Protective custody. Yeah. <clears throat> and even in there, you might get got if if somebody you know the right person. people still get got in there. Yeah. It, yeah I, mean, I mean, look it, at Epstein. Yeah. What happened with his? He's ass? chilling, man. He's on an island somewhere. Yeah, he's dude. Do you think yeah, he's, he's still fine. alive? Nah, he's dead as fuck. He'll be a, he'll be a potluck. Who murdered him? <laughs> dude, he'd move tickets though. He'd move ticks. He <coughs> I'd book him. Hell yeah, Epstein probe. Look at him. They they uh, just released like uh, his death photos the other day. Oh, did they? Yeah. Whoa, they look him up. up. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so who murdered his ass? Probably so he was in. There was a dirty cop that, heard about that was that, locked up. Yeah. So they think it could have been him, um, and that makes sense, right? Like they got to the guy. They they were like, "Here, we'll give you a hundred grand. You're you're going away for life, probably." You know, and look, he didn't even get caught. Or they'll give him fucking plastic surgery. No, no, we're talking about the guy that killed. That's what I'm talking about. They give him plastic surgery, release him. Maybe, yeah, it's possible. Where is that? They took them shits down, and then uh. Didn't he try to commit suicide like a few weeks before? Well, that's, that's, what, what, they, they that's what they said. Yeah, they, they, don't have that, they couldn't up. find that video. They couldn't find the video. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's it right there. You God. think Epstein... Dude, how look at, get look at around his uniform? mouth. Dude, look at around his mouth. It's all blue and fucking... Yeah. It's like he's been beaten. Exfixia, ex, uh, I can't say exfixia. Is that what happens when you get asphyxiated? You yeah, yeah, yeah. You get your whole mouth turns mm-hmm. purple? Yeah, I saw the Chris Farley photos. Oh, those that are, was disturbing. Those are... Ooh. What happened with Chris Farley? He killed himself? Ooh. Chris he Farley was hung doing himself? drugs all night, and he was with a prostitute, and he ended up just overdosing. And the girl mm-hmm. left his ass. But yeah, it's bad photos. Yeah, bro. It's, it's kind of fucked up how they found the drug dealers that sold uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman his drugs. It's fucked up, right? What do you like, mean? What happened? They, like, charged him with murder. Yeah, it's, it's, it's insane. You get so much time for that shit, bro. They'll give you life just for selling a bag of H to kill somebody. Which is, oh, like... serious. Which is, like, look, I get... I sort of get it, but I mean, you can do that with a guy that sells a motherfucker a car. A bad which, car. I yeah, mean, right. exactly. So it's. Uh, what is this? What? I was looking at for Big Bird's death photo. Is Big Bird a, a piece? He a pedophile too? No, he died though. I bet Big Bird is a fucking. I bet he touched <laughs> fiddle with some kids, dude. Anybody who want to get in that fucking <laughs> costume. Exactly, exactly. Anybody who wants yeah. to be on a kid show, be around a bunch of kids. That's why I be questioning them niggas in them Chuck E. Cheese costumes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> why the fuck you want to dance around some kids? I used to have to do that. I used to work at a place called Media Play, and they were they just opened. Media and, Play, the place that just sell CDs. Yeah, remember that place? Yeah. Uh, and when it that? first, oh, it was in Ohio. When it, when it when it first opened, uh, they were like they had all these costumes to like you had to like. You know, be outside dancing, so people go, "What the fuck's going on over there?" And it was like the the choices were, it's like something like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and <laughs> and Barney. And this one guy got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, and they're like, "Brian, you have to be Barney." I'm like, "God damn it!" Uh, so I'm like, I was this big purple dinosaur. I'm like, "I love you, you love." It was horrible. And look how <laughs> Brian turned out. Exactly, exactly. Brian yeah. turned out fine. That's right. <laughs> he grooms his, his women from middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make them the way I want them. <laughs> <laughs> you got to raise them. That's right. That's right. It was some comedian that made a tweet a, a month ago or so. and they, he ribbing and get the camera. He was like, uh, the girl that I'm going to marry is in middle school right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's a joke. Of- when I graduated high school, uh, Janice wasn't even born yet. Damn, man. man you're fucking- <laughs> He's winning, bro. He's winning. Yeah, that's... I see why when rich guys get money and in their 40s, they want to fucking 21 year old chick. Well, or they want to fuck kids, dude. Yeah, as that's in the Visa V Epstein, bro. You get to a certain level, you're like, it goes dudes. He had an island. Kids. He had yeah, an yeah. island of pedophilia, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bill Clinton was on that sh- on his plane 27 his times, dude. Then they take their daughter down there. 27 died. 27 times. It's like Bill Clinton. There aren't any other planes. You know what I mean? 27 times you're on this motherfucker's. Yeah. Private airplane. So he basically became rich from blackmailing people, right? That's what they think, isn't it? Yeah, they think. It's it's speculative. It's speculative. Nobody really knows. But he was working for an intelligence agency. So his, Ghislaine Maxwell, not to to get too fucking, uh, I love you said Israelian. Uh, that's that's what MOP says. I love it. Rappers try to say complicated words. Israeli. Israeli. Um, 
go to war like Israelians. So what's the right what's the right way to say it? Israelis. 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 But uh, but I don't want to be high, high and mighty on here. Oh, I got a GED. Sorry, look at me. Um, Israeli. You can always tell the people in prison that we're gonna go back. Because, like, you see guys that are like, man, I'm studying to get my barber's license. You're like, hell yeah. And then the other guy will be, like, making a Fifi bag. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, you're coming back <laughs> it's here, It's a Fifi dude. bag. It's a, it's a rubber glove filled with Vaseline that you fuck. And I How guess does it, it feels, feel? I guess it feels dope. I never fucked one. But I Did you fuck any dude. female workers? No, they were, all, they were all dogs. They were all, they were just swamp things. Oh, they were fucking ugly. I it's, love swap you, things. So they were like they were like cafeteria lunch ladies. Yeah. That's how these. these so you, bitches. you never got no outside shit. What do you mean? Like there's a video, conjugal there's, visits. There's a video. No, going. they got rid of him in Oregon because somebody killed his wife on a fucking visit. What? Yeah. Dumb motherfucker, man. So there's a video. There's a video yeah. going around of some prisoners with uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's so corrupt in there. It's like nobody <laughs> smuggled this in their ass. Clearly, a, a CO brought this in for you. You know what I mean? So are people doing drugs in prison? Do people yes. Have, people have iPhones in prison? Yes. Bro, I saw. I saw multiple people with this was before iPhones, but they, there was people. Every other cell had a, a cell phone. How? Where do they hide it? They they in their bunker or, or somewhere. You know, they they hide them. But it's a thousand bucks to a to oh, a CO. We'll get you this a bitch this got so ten a ten thousand dollar gift card to Popeyes. Yeah. I love what? this. What the fuck? What are you going to do? Canada just started a few weeks ago. Yeah, and this is the, the... Family Feud Canada. Watch this. It just proves out. That's it. Whoever guesses this wins the game. Here we go. Dude, Canadians are so Name crazy. Name Popeye's favorite food. Chicken. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Show me chicken. Oh, what a <laughs> what? Is that real? Oh, I love oh. it. That and that, and that justifies the wage gap. Okay. And, and, and you know what? That's such a brain fart that I could see. Yeah, I could see a that happening. People exactly. Doing, like, you just automatically. Uh, you just yeah. imagine. You know. Yeah. Automatically. Honestly, for a split second, I yeah. thought she was right. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is fucking. Yeah, ten thousand dollars. Popeye's chicken got it. Gave her. Damn, bro, he's gonna. Bro, I don't even. He's gonna want go that. to Mississippi and, I'm and flip black. that, dude. I know. Damn, I'd sell that shit for like a thousand. Yeah, yeah, you could. That's about the most you're gonna. Like, it was like food stamps back yeah. in the day. You Nobody. Sell them shits. Only or, or the thing I would do is like, hey, every time you want Popeyes, hit me up. But the minimum order is a hundred. Right. You just t- exactly. You turn it into a little yeah. Uber Eats business. Yeah. And then you just you make a spread on minimum it. Minimum order is a hundred. I got the Popeyes chicken sandwich again the other day, and man, I think they've already fucked it up because I don't know what they've changed. It's not as good as it was when it first came out. It's like a already, year ago or something. Yeah, or six wow. months ago. It's already back to being. Uh, this is just a chicken sandwich. Yeah, I think it's oh, fine. Jesus. Good like, for them though. Chick Fil A's. I, I think it's better now. Nah, bro. I think Zaxby's. Type in Zaxby's chicken sandwich. Oh, I love sandwich. Zaxby's. Zaxby's might have the best chicken sandwich, even though I don't eat chicken no more. You miss no, it? No, you just fish, dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just fish. Do you miss it, though? Yeah, sometimes. What's yeah. wrong with chicken? Look at that, bro. Go down there. There you go. Down there. Oh, this? No, here. down, down, down. Down, over. Yeah. Zaxby's. Look at that. Where look is that. Zaxby's? In, the, in the, south. the south. Oh, look at that. And they got jalapenos on it. Crunchy. Shit? They're Banana fries. Oh, look at that melt. saucy. Yeah. They got yeah, saucy. Bro. I like a saucy sandwich, too. Yeah. Look yeah. at yeah. that bro. Same. Yeah, I uh, tell me that shit don't look good, dude. Good. I gotta go there whenever I'm in the yeah. South, dude. Whenever I find myself in Cincinnati. What about Bojangles? You ever eat at Bojangles? No. Cincinnati's Bojangles. not the South. Almost. Bojangles is good. Mm-hmm. Bojangles, dude. Yeah, Bojangles. Bojangles, Miss Winter's chicken. You know oh, Miss Winter's? Winters chicken. Yeah. yeah. All that shit. Bojangles just sound racist as fuck. It does, does dude. It? it sounds like yeah, it sounds like Django, dude. That shit sounds good. like a Mandingo <laughs> fighter. You know what I mean? Yeah, where's Richard Bojangles? <laughs> just me walking into prison. Where's <laughs> Richard Bojangles? You know who actually got a good ass breakfast, but I don't think they sell it out here? Fucking churches breakfast. Do they? Churches, yeah. Their breakfast. What do you what do you get? You get a pancake? Oh, like a, uh, Side like of a eggs? Chicken biscuit. Oh, yeah. And sure they're that. just now bringing chicken biscuits to McDonald's in California. That What's chicken crazy. biscuits? Y'all niggas are kidding, right? No, no. I, I didn't say it. He said it. What's a chicken biscuit? It's like a sausage biscuit, but there's but, a little yeah, chicken a patty chicken. on there. Oh, really? I never heard that before. You yeah. never heard of a chicken biscuit? Of course Like I a it's, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, it's like a chicken biscuit. It's a, it's Chick-fil-A has chicken it's biscuits. On a, it's in yeah. between. A, it's, it's a piece of fried chicken in between a biscuit. It is really nothing. There's no difference between. Oh. It's how. Right. It's how... No offense, fat people justify eating chicken at 8 a.m. Okay? They're, like, they're like, it's not between a bun, it's between two biscuits. biscuits. Yeah. Um, no, but McDonald's has 
delicious pancakes, though. When you Actually, it's not bad. Their breakfast is not it's bad. It's not bad. Their breakfast. Meal yeah. Thing. It's not bad, dude. I just don't like McDonald's. No, no, no. I hate all that shit, but. I don't mind it. The Quarter Pounder, I think, My is My first time eating McDonald's in three years was when I was with Kill Tony in uh, San... Where were we at? What's the capital? Sacramento. Sacramento. Yeah. Do you guys eat pretty poorly on the road? No. I mean, poorly no. meaning, yeah, but... Uh, what we're eating is like, oh, the best barbecue, the best pizzas. You okay, know, like, gotcha, you know, gotcha. Like, Good. So the, you're not eating just tons of fast food. No, no. no. I say okay. the poorest thing about it is the times. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like we do like two back-to-back shows. We're not able to eat till 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. So you're just stuffing your right. face with ribs at 2 a.m. And then, and then sleeping on but, that. Yeah, because like the, the food at Comedy Club is not the best, so you don't no. like that shit. No, you know? no. When we were in Texas, they uh, this guy who does a barbecue podcast – came to two of our shows and just brought us the best local barbecue and he cut it for us and served it to us and stuff wow. like that it was amazing it was good but it after like right. two, after a day of having so much barbecue you're you're just like come on yeah i, I need, want a salad i know i haven't exactly. taken a bowel movement in fucking <laughs> yeah. four days dude <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah dude i don't I, know what the fuck i would eat just the sides or something yeah the sides were good the sides are always good <laughs> you got some smoked fish for a black brother up in there oh mm-hmm. man fish fry did you yeah. do fish fries? Is mm-hmm. that a thing? My grandma used to fry fish every Friday. That's right. Fish fries on Friday. Well, I asked, crappie? I asked, I asked, what were she fried? She, whatever. Yeah. I asked my uh, granddaddy one time. My granddaddy, bro, he's sick now, so he'll never be able to make the podcast. He probably don't have much longer with us. Uh, What's his name? Uh, so sad. Edward. And this, Edward. Is, this is the black side, not the Cuban side, right? Yeah, the black side. Um, what do you mean Cuban side? Well, it's all black, but yeah, it's still all black. But I got you're my, part Cuban. Yeah, you've never told me that. Yeah, he just went to Cuba. I remember that like three weeks ago. Red Bean, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. Yeah, my and neck that's, fucking that's, hurts. That's called wet brain, Red Bean. <laughs> wet brain. But I, 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 I asked my granddaddy one time uh, when I was a kid. I was like, uh, "That is the whitest. Is that stuff with coleslaw?" <laughs> First fucking all, who white is this people. Fucking guy. On the Look right. at that, that guy. guy. Reaper, Ready for a fish fry. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Felipe. Ew, my name is dirty. Felipe. Look at my paperwork. Yeah, exactly. and his paperwork <laughs> doesn't check no, out. No, he's got some sketchy paperwork. <laughs> oh yeah, paperwork. <laughs> I like. Let him play some more. <clears throat> Southern fry. There we go. Yeah, look at. I want to see some more. Oh his face. my god. I don't trust that shit. Hey, how's it going, y'all? This is tilapia. What this is that? Is that like a potato pancake? It's a potato pancake. It's a latke, dude. Apples you get, you get uh, apples cheese, with fish. You get German potato salad, choice of baked potato, sweet potato. Sweet potato <laughs> fries, Yo, this guy fries, is an like awful that. Minnesota yeah. accent. And then which fish is this? Uh, that has salmon, crab yeah, stuffed salmon with a lobster cream sauce. Mm. Okay, which that we looks are fantastic. Running, I'm running that uh, starting Saturdays because I think a lot of people come out maybe Saturday. Yeah, go to the southern. <laughs> yeah, yeah but yeah, when yeah. I was a kid, I asked my granddad. I said, "Why do I said Why do y'all fry fish every? Because that's the like black people fry fish every fucking Friday in the south." Like, why y'all fry fish every Friday? He's like, because black people get paid on Friday. That's hilarious. I was going to say because he can't <laughs> eat meat on Friday. That's a Catholic thing, but. Uh... I think that's an Israeli thing. She's dead. Who's that? That's You're like. That, uh, Get over here on this motherfucker. Like, What's so her they name? So they can see. Huh? I'm going to show you. She's auntie. Auntie, 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 auntie Fifi. She definitely okay. used to smoke Remember? crack. Yes. No offense. Yes, I think she did. She got crack mouth. Who's Auntie Fee? That's her. I know, but what, like, how do you know her? She was like a ghetto cook. She, she went viral. She would like make like. She'd take like biscuits out of a can and make like funnel cakes and Watch, shit. Oh, she's, she's, she's gonna open it up, just gonna be a kilo of coke in there. <laughs> Man, I can't do this fish shit. Can you do that shit? Like cutting heads off and no, all that bro. crap? Fuck no, that. I get my fish at Whole Foods and they do all that for me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm so bougie, y'all. I can even throw away a dead rat a couple years ago. I was too scared to even look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't like the bullshit on a William, Dude, are your dad good with dead things? Cussing and shit? Uh, you could say right, that. That's why, I, yeah. I mean, on some real shit, if I had to do my fish like that, I wouldn't be able to eat it. Yeah. What like, do you cut mean the head off to... in the guts? Yeah. I did that shit when I was a kid. I need to be disconnected from that part. Damn, she looks like a Puerto Rican transitioning. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> How'd she die? Crazy, right? Like a heart attack or some shit. Oh, really? oh, she's dead? Yeah. That sucks. Sorry. I didn't mean to call her Puerto Rican. I don't want to disrespect the dead, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She oh, is, though. Okay. okay, so look. Here we go again. Hey, Wait, how she's cutting it on a paper towel. <laughs> you have it on me, goddamn it, or you have it on that? Okay, <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> shh. 
Sam wanted some catfish. Every Friday is fish night if I'm cooking. See? And I take them catfish yeah. to Even the white there, tub. Even white people, yeah. Friday, and I remember one of the first ranches on. I'd had an old man come up there. The best they, fish is fried outside on one of those, probably what he's about to use. A little cornstarch, cornmeal and flour, peanut oil. Well, sure, you have an oil that's good. Yeah, those fryers right there. <laughs> oil is three. So, so, so is fish more expensive? Is that what they have it in the South on Fridays? Because they're like, we're going to yeah. spend all of our money. One of those is the best. Cast iron. Ooh. Outdoor yeah. fryer. That looks fucking delicious. That way your house ain't got to smell like fucking yeah. fish. Yeah. Right, right. I do not fry fish. I'll go buy it, bro. I want to fry fish, but it's like that smell lingers. Dude, yeah. If in my studio apartment, bro, the whole thing smells like nasty pussy. Oh, That's yeah. fucking gross. I think that guy was uh, in Terminator 2, was he not? I think he was. <laughs> <laughs> that has the T2 running after fucking Arnold. John Connor. Hey, speak. We've been talking about criminals today, William. What trouble have you ever been in? I know your ass don't. William's headed for trouble, dude. W U I. Yeah, I'm on the highway to trouble right now. I have a gun <laughs> in my backpack and my bag of clothes that I left at your place. Y'all should have seen me. I had all my shit when I came to your place. William came to my house like a fucking black guy that his baby mama put out. This nigga had all his shit. He had all his shit in grocery bags. <laughs> I had a bunch of clothes in grocery bags. Yeah, I did. Why did he come to your house? Probably because that wreck last night ended that shit. I don't know. That motherfucker yeah, I mean, got... the wreck. Normally, I get the ride. I couldn't get the ride because the car was broken. I thought your car, you, you had a car. I do have a car. I just I leave the, it. Parked. Who wants him on the road? Do you have insurance and everything for it or no? Yeah. That looks good, though. Yeah, there's some shirt. I didn't see him season it, but that looks like a nice little crunch. Mm -hmm. What kind of fish do you like? A white fish or a catfish? Or it, If it's fried, I like uh, catfish. Um, I like catfish. I like fried bass. I like crappie, brim, uh, pike, walleye. Salmon is my favorite. You ever grill. go to one of those, like... Uh boiling crab places where they put all the fish in like the bags no i'm allergic to shellfish oh you, jesus that sucks wow you only eat fish but you can only eat half of it yeah i think my allergy is over though it's been over seven years we'll see try it yeah i'm gonna get the allergy test i'm not just gonna go eat a fucking yeah, just shrimp. Have, have a shrimp oh man <laughs> fucking uh oh got a bad alert on my phone amber i asked you not to talk about it Thanks. Oh, <laughs> she's a fan. She's a fan of the show. Oh, God, bro. Oh, fuck. Yeah, she's... why don't you just give out her fucking personal information? Yeah. Give out her address. Just her? do it. Should we call her? Are you calling her? Call her. <clears throat> yeah, call her Who up, is dude. This? Oh, shit. Let's see. Who is it? Hello? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Eric. How are you, buddy? Eric who? Eric? Eric? Andy, Andy. Andy. Oh, it's Andy. Hey, Andy. Oh, Andy. Andy, what's up? Andy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Andy, you oh, are my God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell me you're podcasting right you're now. You're podcast, bro. <laughs> Damn. Hey, this nigga, don't, he don't respect you, bro. He ain't even got your number saved. <laughs> <laughs> This is from the bit. This is from his office. It's not for. I have his number you don't have his number set. Uh, uh, he said he's seeking other representation. How are you, Andy? I'm good, guys. Just checking in on you guys. Are we good, bro? Filming the pod. This is, if in case you guys didn't know, this is both uh, me and William's manager. Andy Farron, great guy, who's going to be running Hollywood in five Hell years. Hell yeah. You heard it. One of the nicest Egyptians you'll ever meet. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> really sweet. <laughs> well, how are you? Are you doing well? I'm good. Good. I'm just trying to get you two boys some work. Hell yeah, bro. Fucking everybody on Andy's team is working. Fucking Chappelle just shot the thing with Netflix, and uh, Fahim just did Conan. Was yep. that Conan? Oh, Fahim yep. was on Conan yep. O'Brien last yeah. night. Yeah, he did great. Yeah, thanks. Now it's on you guys. I'm really pitching you guys to do uh, 
Natural Light Seltzer. Oh, good shit, bro. Oh, hell yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, Andy, let me... Well, please tell them I'm actually not sick. I get my blood test back tomorrow. It scares me. If you had AIDS, that show would definitely sell, though. You know what I mean? They couldn't say no to it. So don't keep your blood too clean. Time to come back after that. All righty, Andy. We'll hit you back after the cast. Bye. Oh, you f- <laughs> Bro, if you guys... You're, you just got dropped. <laughs> hey, hey uh, call, call her up. Call, the, call your girl up. God, if you guys... Mean? Call her up. If you guys pitch... No, I don't think that's a good idea. Why? <laughs> if you guys pitch a show as well as you talk to your representation, you're going to be fucking... <laughs> we're we're, we're going to be on TV in fucking no yeah, time, Yeah, you dude. calling me out, not having the numbers saved. <laughs> oh, my Bro, God. Bro, I was just being funny. You guys are fucking Amos and Andy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why do you think that's a good idea for him to call the chick? Because I don't. Well, may, I mean, it might be okay. Call her up, girl speaker. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. So I, I we're, agree. We're gonna I think you call her up. Call her, bro, and apologize. It'd be good entertainment. It'd be good radio, as they say. We'll bleep it out. Yeah. It's live. Oh, good point. All right. Well, not just call her and apologize. Just don't fucking talk when she gets on the phone. All right. I won't. I won't say anything. Oh, God. Hello? Hi. Is your Hi. thing done? Yeah. How are you? Oh. <laughs> my back hurts. Your my neck hurts. <laughs> I know. Like literally it's hard to move around. It's getting worse. How are you? I've been better. How are you? Why'd you text me that? Well, we um What? I guess whatever. It's all good. I I pray to God it does. I texted it when you said it, and I was like, I don't, I don't need to know anymore. You're yeah. So they took. Is your car totaled? Uh, maybe the dresser can't go out till Friday because they're booked up tomorrow. Um, you can use. If you go to the doctor, they'll pay for it, too, because you're the passenger. Um, totally going to tell that pussy out to me. I don't know. It might be <laughs> cheaper to total it because of the value of the car, because yeah. it's a 2015. Tell you going to fuck it. It's a 2015? Yeah. Tell you going to touch the bottom of it. Can I later tonight touch the bottom of your car if you get my drift? Yeah. Like old times? Like old times. Do, do, do our friends need to talk? <laughs> do what? Do our friends need to talk? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, our friends need to talk. My buddy is worried that your buddy <laughs> is mad at my friend. I think they, I think fighting? I need to... Yeah, I think they're fighting. I need to take my boxers off. You need to take your panties off. You need to sit on me. They need to talk. Oh, my God. I just pray to God maybe later tonight we can do that. In the rental? Did you get a rental? I'm going to get it tomorrow. You are? What is it, a Ford Taurus? <laughs> I, I could probably get one. Cool. <laughs> Tell her you're going to put your car in her All garage. Right. Are you going to go home right now? I'm thinking about it. I don't know. All right. All right. You, don't you have a doctor's appointment Tell home to give you extra pay? All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I hope she Are doesn't you? watch this. <laughs> Do our friends oh need to my. talk? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It really sounded like he was talking to his sister. I mean, they fucking sound exactly alike. <laughs> Do our friends need to talk. What a nightmare! <laughs> what a total nightmare! Uh, in the rental? <laughs> She's a rider, though, dude. Wow. God, I was, was cringing the whole time. That was horrible. That was horrific. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are meant for each other. That's yeah, really, you are. 
Do our friends need to talk? Oh God, Jesus. that's what I've been saying recently, <laughs> bro. If I told that to, if I told that to any black girl, they'd be like, "Get your goofy weird yeah, ass." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your go- Do our friends need to talk, nigga? Yeah, what the fuck, fuck? You talking about? <laughs> Get your goofy ass. Up. <laughs> White girls would probably say that. This is goofy ass, nigga. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that was Yikes. cringy. William, I don't even want to imagine what y'all sex is. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my. it is pretty quick. <laughs> Drunken. You have her screaming. Do I have her screaming? She has me screaming, screaming for help, <laughs> screaming for fucking, yeah. screaming for air. She has you. Yeah, get off me! I can't <laughs> breathe right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking breathe right now. She has you screaming. Yeah, she has me screaming. <laughs> she put your legs behind your ears, huh? Your legs be behind your ears. <laughs> That's a physical impossibility, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guy. Do you guys do that stupid talk like, "Oh, daddy, oh, freck, get your freckle dick in me" or whatever? Just a bunch of hey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Take them panties off. Come sit on this dick. You know I've been pissed. <laughs> and then it just ends with just, you know, I've been pissed. And it just sort of ends with that. Okay, so you come. Yeah. Then you... And then I ejaculate. Man. Oh, man. So yeah. we, we had a question. We had a question <laughs> that I came up with last week on the podcast because this shit is too weird. Are oh, limes God. baby lemons? Oh, yeah. I saw that. I saw that clip. Uh, limes baby lemons. Uh, you want a real answer? Yeah. <laughs> I think because this no, is this is they're not. Bro, I so, get where you're coming right. from. I get where you're coming from. Sprite what would be a lie. Sprite would be a lie if that was true. <laughs> Bro, uh, exactly. No, Sprite would be. <laughs> no, it's lemon. Hey, black people still buy it anyways, though, dude. It's not a lie. Sprite's actually telling you the truth. Lemon lime. They're telling you that lemon they're and one. Lime. There's an and in between. They're telling you that they're one. Here's the thing: lemons are green when they're not mature, but then they turn. So how do we bananas. know that's not a baby lime? And like I told because you find a you can find a ripe lime that you cut into that's actually yellow and sweet. Mm-mm. Yes, we found it last There's week. There's such thing as a lime tree and a lemon tree. Yeah, it's true. It'd be a huge <laughs> conspiracy. So this is bigger than 9/11 if if it's true. So this what about you have. what about uh, Brussels sprout, Brussels sprouts being baby cabbages? No. Oh, no, it's brilliant, but no. <laughs> no. No. You think you don't think that though? It could be. <laughs> Let's see. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Are cantaloupes being overly large grapes? No, no, no idiot. No. Jesus, why would you say that? That no. doesn't because even... I'm goofing around. No, you're not. You're no. being serious. Yeah, drop yeah, him. Call Andy yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Drop <laughs> him. You, 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 you cannot be on the same management as me thinking like that. <laughs> Come on, David. Gr- grapes turn into raisins. Grapes are. They raisins. actually go the other way. Yeah, well, that's raisins true. are grapes. You know that, right? Yeah. Do you? Now I do. Raisins or grapes? That identifies raisins. Actually, You're I'm telling not me them. raisins or grapes? So Brussels sprouts are actually gentrified cabbage. Black people eat cabbage. White people eat Brussels sprouts. Mm. Preach. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Although I'm thinking everybody in the South eats the same shit. They don't We've eat no proven f- white people I never do ate fish a, fries. I never ate a Brussels sprout until I moved to L.A. Really? Yeah. I like Brussels sprouts. I like yeah, them. Brussels yeah, sprouts are pretty good if you do them right. They got butter on them. No, they got no. Go to fucking. On them. Basically, go, if you make them unhealthy, yeah. then they're good. No, yeah. go to Hyperion. Hyperion has a Brussels sprout. What the fuck is that? Tavern? Hyperion, Hyperion Public. There's one, in Hi, there's one on Hyperion Boulevard, whatever it is. Yeah. And then there's one in like Sherman Oaks, but they do like a uh, they roast Brussels sprouts. And those then, are good. Yeah, they fucking pan fry them and yeah. shit. And they're all delicious. Yeah, and then they uh, put like balsamic vinegar. Mm-hmm. Pretty- mm-hmm. What yeah. Is, what is this? That shit? was your only question mm-hmm. for your guest. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hell yeah, you guys are regular fucking Carsons over here. Um, now is your time to interview us. All right. Um, okay. Start with William. Start with William. Bill. Bill. Um, okay. What, are, what am I asking? Anything? Yeah. Um, Just get, <laughs> are you, on. you look like you're planning on passing out. Uh, let's see. Um, I, I don't know, dude. What, what do you want me to say? Uh, um, 
Are you – you think you'll marry your girl? She sounds like wifey material. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. It's a real question. Like, could you see yourself long-term with your girlfriend? It is something – Do you know what day it is? <laughs> I should have just started with that. <laughs> is it Wednesday? <gasps> yeah, bingo. Come on. I don't – I don't know what to think. After last night, I don't know if it's I mean, he got you got in a car accident because they were fighting in yeah. a car. Mm, yeah, that's you know? true. And but that's what great love, I mean, great love is going to be great passionate. fights. Yeah, exactly. I, I have to disagree. Really? Yeah. Do you not fight? I've been in many relationships where it was a fight every week. Sometimes, like once a month, I, I, I break up. Yeah. You know, I had a yeah, that's, that's horrible. But that's like, horrible. yeah, but uh, no, I think, I think. The best relationships where you barely ever fight. You might get in disagreements, but you're not yelling at each other or fighting with each other. Like me and Janice, uh, it's the first girl I've ever dated. I think we've gotten to an argument, but we've never had a full-on fight. Like, type yeah, shit. yeah, and you like it that way. Oh, it's way better. You prefer it that I way. I had a girl try to kill me when I was like 21, 22. Wow. She fucking tasered me in the shower. That what? is some black shit. Like, bitch, I love that, dude. <laughs> but she was fucking mixed. She was blazing. Asian? Uh, yeah, that's a weird crime for an Asian? Asian. Yeah, what kind of Asian was it? Too got much to, black. She was gotta be uh, Filipino. Korean. Yeah, I was about really? to say Korean. Korean? Wow, that's, that's an odd nuts. crime for a Korean. Yeah, she must have lied. She was but probably Filipino. Filipino. And said she was exactly. Korean. Exactly. A lot exactly. of them do that. I had a Filipino <laughs> chick named Francesca. They used to work at the T Mobile on Wilshire. Oh, I love that, dude. Of course she did. And she fucking goes to every Joe Koi show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom does do that. Here's a hundred million dollars. I'm kidding, Joe. Anyways, can I ask you something, David? What's up? Do you harbor any resentment towards white people for any reason? No. As a group? Uh, so a lot of people might see the jokes I do towards white people and think that I uh, harbor anger, but it's all friendly. Like, I got, like, my, my grandmother on my mom's side, like I said, she had a white father, so I had a lot of white cousins. And I just understand white people... <sighs> In a better sense yeah. than I think a lot of black people may, because like I grew up around so many. I got white right. cousins. Right. I got white cousins, man. So it's like I uh, I uh, understand them. I don't think like a lot of my jokes are true. Like I don't think white people are as racist as the world tries to, to make them seem. Mm. I, I understand them. So it's like it's like uh, had I grown up in a fucking you know, like, I understood my granddaddy's point of view. Like, you know, growing up and I dated white girls, he'd be like, them white girls going to kill you. But mm. that's what he saw yeah. in his yeah. era. And yeah. a lot of that, you know, I had a, a lot of that with white people was just, like, stuff that was inbred in them Yeah, at the house. Hey, hey do you remember the part in American Gangster where he's, Frank's talking about how he saw white cops, like, shoot his one of his, I think it was, like, his brother right. to death. Like, they put a, shoved a gun in his mouth and pulled the trigger. Did that... Did that ever happen? Did that actually happen? I've never talked about of that. Of course, you're not going to ask him that. I don't but. know any uncles that got murdered by cops. Mm. What do you think the worst white is? What do you think the worst kind of white person? Like well, the most racist kind of white immigrants? Greeks? I don't know too many Greek. Um, back in the day, I don't know about now. I'd say the worst immigrants... Um, that I've ran across are fucking Africans. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I didn't mean for the conversation <laughs> to go this way. I, we were just making fun of white people. But yeah, okay. African. I mean, <laughs> Jesus I, will, I will say that, I mean, I, I, tra- I have traveled the world. We're going to get some Trump 2020 followers after this <laughs> fucking interview. Um, but I think the worst type of white person, period. I like the, African the, immigrants. The worst type of person, period. Not Except even for Nigerians th- calling me up. Yeah. Off, saying yeah. 2,000 bucks, you just won 20 million. The worst. Oh, she's attractive. The worst type of person. Period. Not even white or black, but one, Saudi, Saudi but, Arabians. But one that um, knows racism exists. They've uh, they've acknowledged it, <laughs> and, and they hilarious. choose to continue to live in that way. Yeah. Yep. I you know agree. What I'm I know exactly it's what like, you're fucking I, talking about. I can't harbor any resentment for white people for something they did a hundred years ago. Yeah. It's time to move on. Mm-hmm. And I'm not one of those black guys who sit around like, the white man's keeping me down. Right, right. The white man's keep man. That's you know, what I say, bro. You know why I ain't got no TV show? Because the white man. That's what I say every night before I go to bed, dude. <laughs> I don't know. 
yeah, nowadays white people can't even get on TV shows. No, no, they can't, dude. You got to have a thing. You got to be gay. Yeah. Even that, it doesn't really help. <laughs> no, being gay, gay doesn't help anymore. No, because like they're like everybody's gay. Yeah. You got to have something. That's why I'm saying, minority, William, if you got fucking, minority. if you got the bug, if you know what I mean, HIV. Yeah. That'll fucking move the needle. Yeah. You know. Yep. So I think keep letting your girlfriend, you know, keep bringing Lead in, on you. Exactly. Keep bringing in <laughs> Craigslist lovers. You know. And I do you see want, where I'm going with this? Yeah, God, I, I should be your fucking manager. Anyways. I did want to, uh, we, we talked about it briefly before the show started, but I did also want to address um, people that are accusing me of joke theft because they saw a tweet that some girl wrote like six months ago, and they're saying I stole part of my kill tone. So the first time they accused me of joke theft was um, I did a Paula Dean joke about and I'm like, that Paula Dean joke right to... Right, right, wrote, yeah, it, it, yeah. it wrote yeah. itself. Paula Dean said nigga, and she fries chicken. Yeah. So how yeah. many black comedians... Immediately yeah. thought that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm and like I told the guys in the Reddit sub, I'm not going to stop doing the joke because you think I stole yeah. it. Right? Yeah. Because I think they sent me a... And then they said... So at first it started, I stole it from Dave Chappelle. Then it turned into I stole it from Cat Williams. Then it turned into that I stole it from Tracy Morgan. So I was like, all right, man. So why don't you accuse them for it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. But now that I wrote the fucking joke that wrote itself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only thing you're uh, is it's a hacky joke. That's the only thing yeah. that, that, yeah. that you're to blame for. Yeah. yeah. You've seen, you seen the Joker? It's an easy premise. It's yeah. a very easy yeah. premise. If you've that, seen a Hollywood movie, the, that's the business mm-hmm. is recycling. Okay? You fucking idiot fans. All right. <laughs> so There's no yeah. more stealing. There's no more ideas. It's all making it's, it new. Stealing would be like... I went to this show and I and I, this whole story of something that happened to you, not like something in the news or right, something like right, that. Right, exactly. You you can't steal a fucking premise. Right. Especially a news premise. Yeah. And then yeah. Uh, they said there so there was a um a tweet. The guy sent me the tweet and I'm like, bro, if you think I fucking sit here on a platform that gets a hundred thousand views a week and still jokes you out of your mind. Like, we don't even have anything to talk about. Yeah. And also, yeah. to be fair, you just got back on Twitter when we started doing this podcast. Right. You didn't even tweet. I didn't even tweet. <laughs> right, I just right. now started getting yeah. back on. I still don't know how to use that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so he said, I stole a tweet from, uh, like, I guess the girl, I think it was like September, October, where uh, the joke that I said was, uh, I just lost custody of my kids. My summer's going to be lit. And then he sent me a tweet where a girl said, and I said, bro, bro. like, (laughs) the thing y'all don't understand, I probably got 100 or 200 one-liners written. Yeah. That because I'm on Kill Tony, I'll go back and revisit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's something that's not a time piece. Yeah. Yeah. And and I'm like, you got to come up with a new, so I'll I'll make that one-liner my opener and then add some to it. Mm Mm-hmm. It's like, motherfucker, the whole joke was about losing custody of my kids. If you think I'm going to stop doing that joke. No, of course, bro. Because some Why do you have tweeted kids? it. <laughs> exactly. What's the point of having kids if you can't fucking get some five minutes out of them? That bitch might not even have kids. Nobody, yeah. nobody yeah. discovered this, but probably my best joke this past Monday is actually a Joe Coy joke. I stole it from <laughs> it's, uh, it's about your Filipino mother. People always say the book is better than the movie, but this. did y'all read Mortal Kombat? <laughs> I love that joke. That's, that's a great that, joke. I think that's dude. my favorite joke of yours, William. Because I can't even imagine how horrible that book would be. Oh, <laughs> terrible, dude. Yeah. So there are, um, yeah, yeah, like Johnny was saying, every premise has been discussed pretty yeah. much. Yeah. If you hear a similar premise, that does not mean somebody stole the fucking yeah. joke. Yeah. Dude, I read a quote from a guy. He was like, everything's been done. And this from it was from like 1620, the year 1620. They were like, yeah, Shakespeare did it all. What I mean, because when people are falling in love with comedians, they're falling in love with their personality. Of course, not their fucking jokes. Yeah, because because if, you, if, if you, you steal my my theory is like a few exceptions aside, you can't actually steal a joke and make it successful if it's there's not some truth right, to you personally. Right, right. You know what I mean? I don't know how yeah. Mencia did it. Mencia might have even felt like. He related to those jokes, like he, in a certain ways, he made those his own. I think he's just you know what sick. I mean. Like he, he's like he's yeah. He yeah, might he yeah. might be a complete psycho, but yeah. But and that's I mean, very rare that you're actually a, able to take a, somebody's act and, right. and, and make it your own. And, and there's and a make few comedians that did, like Robin Williams. But he was being himself. Right. I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, I don't Robin know Williams straight up stole because he was known to pay people. 
Oh, that's true. You remember, he used to write pay. checks. Yeah, and that's not stealing. That's right. What would he do? Well, he stole After first. Fact, yeah, oh, he stole it's, first. It's a, oh. Yeah, it's like a settlement. It's like an out-of-court settlement. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he do that a lot? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he had to have, what, five new minutes every week for the show he was on? Which show? Which show? He was on some late night show, wasn't he? I no. Thought, oh, somebody told me a he while was, ago. Well, wow. he, he might have been, though. He was yeah. He was doing so much shit. He might have. Yeah. Mork yeah. and Mindy. Mork and Mindy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. But, uh, I yeah. mean, there are some comedians out here... I mean, there's some, some incredibly unoriginal. Yeah, you know. And yeah, the 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 fucking um, Paula Dean joke is a little hack, but I like it, and I add a twist to it. Yeah, so, there you go. Yeah, do, yeah. Just do it on the road. Do it yeah, on the road. Yeah. Do, do it in the city. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm gonna do with my abortion shtick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's it's completely different from Tony. Come, the only thing, the first laugh is the similar part, mm-hmm. but then I go off onto some other shit. That has nothing to do with his tags and how he does the joke. I talk about it's just on some a whole different angle, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. It just and, it's that first laugh where the the jokes are similar. And also, uh, I'll just change the state. I'll just say Mississippi. Right. <laughs> right. You know. Right. And then there was this one time. Or, no, it was last week when I did the joke about uh, I can't even remember the fucking joke. But anyway, the guy said, oh, you stole Jim Gaffigan's essence. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like you stole his style. I'm like, what the? That's what Dan Cook used he to said that, say. He said, yeah. said that. He said that to Steve Byrne, yeah. right? He called Steve Byrne up uh, into the hills like, like he was like a king, you know, like summoning one of his, you know, lieutenants. And he was like, hey, man, you're, you're doing me. <laughs> Think about the balls, I, dude. I don't, I don't know how. Uh, <laughs> anybody, Stevie? If anybody really wants to steal Dane Cook's style. Oh, not anymore. They used to. Yeah, back in the day, yeah. I saw him at the the store the other night. Dane? Dane? Yeah. He He rather goes there. He was on, um, can't think of that boy's show. That's on Friday night. Bro, he was 25 and his girlfriend wasn't even born. (laughs) Bro, she is a fucking, she is. Yeah. Uh. A tyke, yeah. as they say. <laughs> hey, but you know what though? I'm gonna say one thing. Tony always told me, "Don't read the comments." Yeah, but obviously. somebody sent it to me, so I had to address it. You're still at that point. You're gonna yeah. get to a certain level where it I mean, it's getting even. to that point right now, bro. Yeah. It's like when Tony's. You know what I noticed about Tony? He does not. He's not on social media a lot. All, yeah. all he he's doing is just fuck out. Exactly. He just posts and sometimes re yeah, re Instagrams. Deleted it, and that's his it. Facebook. He, yeah. Yeah. And him being on Instagram and uh, was like, I used to have to push him like, dude, you need to start making videos. You need to start doing. Right. It. So like he he just started getting on Instagram a couple of years ago. Yeah, like he was. Yeah, against yeah. all of that. Shit. Right. Yeah, that's I respect that. <laughs> you charge those batteries so much, man. Like, they never fully charge. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, do you think? What do you think about uh, uh, David's vaping? It's probably gonna kill him, right? Vaping? Uh, I don't think it's that bad for you. I don't. I think vaping's probably fine. Uh, it's better than cigarettes. You think it's better than cigarettes? Oh yeah. It's not as cool though. No. The big I problem smell with way the, better. The big problem with vaping is that most people that vape smoke like suck on it all day long. You know, like like it's like their air. <laughs> yeah. Instead of a cigarette where you have one every whatever half hour or something like that, right. and it lasts five minutes. I was, I was a, <laughs> right. when I smoked cigarettes, I was a pack every day and a half. That's not bad. Yeah. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most people do like a pack and a half a day. You know? Damn, nah, I can. I was smoking, towards the end of me smoking, I was smoking American Spirits. Those cigarettes last 20 minutes. Oh, I, those love those, the, I love those cigarettes. Those are, I think, worse for you. Even though they say they're better for yeah, you, I feel like are. they're worse. Because I when I, used to, I smoked those for like six months, and every morning I'd wake up and just black goobers. And like my Ooh. lungs felt like they were, you know. Yeah. Because like, that's, like, that's a, a real Indian tobacco. Yeah. Dude, I love those roll cigarettes, bro. They had those in the joint. Those fucking uh, tobacco. And your, to- your tolerance, uh, seven. Seven a stick. So one bag of coffee will get you a stick of weed or or, or a, a stick uh, tobacco. But your tolerance is so low, dude. You fucking suck on that thing, dude. You're high as fuck from the weed. Oh, my too? prison is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I knew black guys in there because they're the black guys were bringing in the weed at the prison I was at. Their baby mamas and shit. Uh, they dude, they're smoking weed three times a day. These guys are <laughs> high smoking. all day. I'm like, what the fuck. <laughs> Where do you smoke it in prison? You, you're in your cell and you puff it. You could be on the yard too, uh, but it's just a little more sketchy. But you smoke it in your cell and you blow the smoke. You put two batteries together and then you take a piece of, uh, what do you scrub? It's kind of like Brillo pad. Brillo pad. Yeah, and then you put one piece of 
Brillo pad wire over the ends of the batteries, and it creates a little Spire. flame. Exactly. So, what about and so the you smell? smoke it and you blow it into the toilet, and the toilet is like an industrial like some shit you see. <laughs> it's an airport toilet. It's an airport. It's a bad. It's an airplane toilet. Second air. And exactly. Everything. And you just fucking blow it to the toilet and start flushing it. And it just t- it evaporates all the smell. It's cool. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 And then there's meth and shit. I bet they're all you vaping know? nowadays, though. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they probably the have yard vaping, yeah. probably, yeah. dude. Yeah. They keep up with the times, yeah. Bro, fucking a guitar string and a Walkman motor makes you a <laughs> fucking tattoo gun in prison. Yeah, yeah. I know some guy when I was in jail, not prison, but uh, he made hooch, mm-hmm. and that was I didn't know what that was. Where you take all your fruit. like fruit and uh. make it like a wine. It was disgusting. Disgusting, yeah. bro. It's, and they put so many packets of sugar in there, yeah. dude. I drank it. I went blind. I was like, oh, I'm gonna <laughs> die, dude. I'm gonna fucking die. die dude. Shit, Pruno. Yeah, Pruno, bro. Did you get drunk? I was, it was like, it was sick. I got sick. I went immediately to hungover. I drank one and I'm like, oh, I, and I was fucking shitting and that's I was that, puking in the, that's in the special sink and shit. Yeah, exactly. How'd you like spread? Spread was bomb. I could make one, but like, What's there was spread? some. Uh, you take Davis? Cheetos, crush them up. You take the summer sausages, fucking pork rinds, put in a plastic bag. Fucking spread that shit out with some cheese and shit. You can't be vegan in prison, no, bro. Fuck no. Fuck no, bro. And you start cut. It sounds nasty, but when you're in prison yeah. eating that bullshit. No, no. It's it's necessary. Yeah. Tuna is this tuna. one of the 3-6 Mafia? Who is this? I don't know. I thought it was Juicy J. Oh, my God. This guy's, this guy's been a prison. Chef Le Mundo. That is funny as that fuck. That guy's been on the yard, bro. <laughs> Welcome to Chef Flamundo TV. Today's episode is prison food. Now, I'm not talking about three hots in a cot. We're talking about real cell block culinary cuisine. Break Today we're making Lamundo's five animal spread. Here's what you need to it's put up. on that your canteen bad. list. Ramen noodles, various chips and beef jerky found on a prison canteen, mayonnaise, mustard, a holding tank sandwich. It's not a spread without a plastic bag. Now you want to test that bag for leaks. Take your noodles. Remove them from the bag. Cook them just with hot water. Bag. Bro, I'm getting PTSD, dude. I can't even watch this. Right here. This is the central part of the spread. If you don't have this bag, this is not a spread without this bag. So what you want to do? Imagine how much sodium in there. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. <laughs> Jesus, I'm saying. Dude. All those noodles, it's ridiculous. Hell yeah, it's like 1,200 a pack. Yeah. Why what? is that? Why can't they figure that out? Like I, I don't, don't get that. It's preservatives. It's right. It's to yeah. keep it. It's to no. Keep it's the seasoning pack. Oh, that's right. I don't you know. You can't bro. put that you can't put that whole pack into a thing, bro. Yeah, you, I always do half of it. And it's still like five hundred grams of sodium or yeah. whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. But I love ramen and, and all those noodles and too. shit. I do too. But spaghetti doesn't have that much Mm-mm. sodium if you or get the not, jar, no. if you if you don't make it fresh, the jar has a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you put a slice of cheese in there. Fill the bag just enough to cover the ramen. Give the bag a twist to seal it. Yeah, that's a left hand tie. If you didn't know, you feel me? So I used to. You could fuck that bag too. If you wanted to. Yeah. Fuck that spread. You feel me? Because I know how to tie my bag. You know what I mean? So you just witness it yourself. Let the warm water mix with the yellow. Now it's time. To with the yellow? The yola. <laughs> I think he said the yola, bro. Smoke Smoke five, five to ten, ten blocks. Blocks. Whammy, uh, Drain the excess water. You're not eating soup. You want to add your sauce. The sauce is Cheetos. Yeah. You just had to give me that shit already made. I couldn't see you making it. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go in there and talk about pescatarian. They laugh at my ass. <laughs> You'd have to switch, right? This some rich man shit. Yeah. This guy's rich. definitely cook yeah, crack. I'm just saying. Yeah. Garnish with whole Fritos and serve. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Just like West Block. <laughs> Shout out to Santa Rita. You know what I'm talking about? 415. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm if you got, about? If you got money, money, you don't got to eat that shit. Nah. Well. You're getting chick, chicken, chicken sandwiches. I mean, yeah, I guess not. But you'll probably still end up eating it. Because there's only so much shit you can buy in canteen. And they never fucking. Is that your third nipple, William? Do y'all see that? Is that a huge that? zit? Do y'all see that? Is that from the accident? I've had this for a couple days now. What oh, is wow. that? Lyme disease. Holy shit, that's not good. What is oh. that? <laughs> What is that? Do y'all see that? What is, is it look like a zit or is it? 
I mean, y'all see a, that shit? Yo, I think that's a third nip. This motherfucker got Ebola. That's uh, not good. Did you? You didn't go there when you when you it went to the doctor last night after the crash. Oh. Is it a cigarette? She put a cigarette out on your <laughs> stomach? <laughs> we forgot to mention she's abusive as fuck. <laughs> yeah. I hope that chick don't watch the rest of this episode. She'll probably break up with you. Yeah, I would. Do you really think so? Yeah. No, bro, she, that bitch loves him, dude. <clears throat> she probably won't come back up here again. You don't think so? Has uh, she been on the she... pod? No, no, no. But she... She's here normally. In the waiting area. Sitting back over there. Monitoring what he says. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Willie, this is like... So now that you she's know. not here, can you give us the story about how you lost your virginity? Um, it was uh, a. Hold on, let, let us get some. Um, let us get some uh, guitar instrumentals right quick. And don't be bullshitting me, Will. I'm I not. All right. There we go. Yeah, let's, let's put go. Cat Stevens' father and son one. Yeah, no, I was at a pledge retreat freshman year. Uh, we went outside of Dollywood in Sevierville, Tennessee. I'd been communicating with some young lady. This is probably 2006. Hey. Uh, Michigan, Ohio State's playing. Mm. Civil War. Civil War. Um, we're up in the four-story house. We're watching the movie Seven. There's a scratch in the dvd of seven so it starts over after every 20 minutes i'm sitting down there i put my arm around her we go up to the fourth level of the place our friends talk the attic you will yeah our friends start talking some bitch comes in the door she stops i don't know what to do i'm in severeville <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it was it was fun. No, 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 you're not done. What happens now? Is your little what orange, that your pussy little... tastes like? I didn't mess around with that shit. Is that little orange dick blood filled? Hey, yeah. Why does your little orange penis have blood coming out of it? Were you on the top or on the, on the bottom? Bo- I was on the bottom. So you let that bitch. Ride you to did take your virginity. And did she suck that dick? She didn't, but I remember on the third level. Fucking bitch. People were watching the movie Braveheart, and I smoked part of a blunt. And then we went up to the fourth level. Mm. It was the fourth level? That's like how you know you're getting pussy. That's like code <laughs> word. You're like, you're on the fourth upper room. Level. You're going to the fourth level tonight. In the upper room. Going boom, boom. Did in the you upper wear room. a condom or did you go raw dog? Like there was something bag. on my penis dog. It was plastic or rubber dog. I don't really remember. I was high. <laughs> high. <laughs> and then you busted a nut. I actually didn't. I actually didn't. And abortion. You can't have one of those in Missouri. Or was you in Tennessee? <laughs> this was Tennessee. Severeville, tennis. That's where Young Buck's from. It was. Can you tell us her first name? <laughs> oh, is she ashamed? I feel like you lost your virginity to a girl named Emily. She turned out to be a man. Oh, uh, shit. No judgment. <laughs> F- was her dick bigger than yours? Yes, it was. We're allies. Please Netflix buy our show. <laughs> Please Netflix. So, you thought you did you put your dick inside that dude's dick hole thinking it was a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. I you did. fucked a man to lose your virginity? <laughs> yeah, dude. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Keep it on the left. That's oh woke, God. dude. That is woke. Yeah, it was a strange time for me. Have you ever been with a man? I t- fantasized about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you would have, you would have come out with it. 
Maybe not, though. I, don't know. I know. Maybe, or maybe I would have kept it secret. I uh, lost my virginity at 12. Did you really? What? To a 16-year-old. God damn. Again, I, I hate to make it racial. Some, I, that's some black. That's some Georgia <laughs> shit, bro. That's some black shit, dude. So I remember all the black girls in my middle school. Like, literally, we'd be in sixth grade. And these chicks would oh, look no, like they look like nineteen year olds, dude. Yeah. You know what it is? You know those black girls? They're they're, they're like thick. Got, yeah, they're, and they're usually like red bones. Like they have like some yellow in them or something. They got, and and I remember this one chick, Vanessa Vaughn or something. She already had a porn name, but it was her government, you know. And she'd be like, John, what you about to do this week? And I was like, I'm gonna watch TGIF, you know. What do you mean? <laughs> and she goes, I'm about to fuck. And I I would get so like flushed. I'm like, oh my god. And I go home. I'm like, Mom, you know, there's, there's women having, se- there's girls having sex. And my mom was like, the black girls. I was like, yeah. She goes, yeah. They get into that activity sooner. Oregon, they was thick. Yeah, it's thick, bro. So black, you, Portland used to have black people. So though, can before you, we gentrified the shit. So can you imagine how the girls were in Georgia? Oh my god, eating that cornbread, collard greens, and god cabbage. Damn. So she was 16. Yeah. That's wild, bro. That's wild. And did she she f- not force, but she she pressed the issue? It was pretty much rape. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. A lot of dudes get nah, raped. It was, a lot of dudes get fucking raped by older women. I didn't you know what I was this. doing, bro. She fucked me with no condom. <laughs> yeah, <Wow>. yeah, <laughs> yeah. She smelled money already. She's like, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get this guy's seed. She's married now. Do you think it's fucked your sexuality up a little bit? Absolutely not. I love pussy. I love it. If well, any, that if, doesn't mean it's not. If your anything, mind's it, not ma- it made up. me uh, hypersexual. Hypersexual. Yeah, that's the, I tell you, it's a problem. As therapist would say it, yeah. you get some issues. But I didn't lose my real virginity until I was like fifteen, to yeah. where it was like mutual on both parts and not like a. I mean, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, but I also didn't know what I was doing. I didn't lose my virginity to a non-fat chick until I was like, I was twenty-one. Well, you know, yeah, those don't count. <laughs> exactly, dude. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm still a virgin then. <laughs> yeah, but I lost my virginity when I was fifteen to my girlfriend. She's at that time. She was a. Uh, She's in the military now. Really? Yeah. Wow. She, she a lesbian now? No, nah, that bitch got like three kids. Oh. I mean, if I was in Georgia, I'd probably imagine I had like six. They shouldn't let women be cops. We can all agree on that, right? Yep. For their own safety, dude. They're just not... You ever see them like out to eat? <laughs> it it drives look, me crazy. It's fucking yeah. crazy. Like, I would... F- I'd fight one of you. I would not let this bitch arrest me. <laughs> you know what I mean? She could not gaffle me on her own. <laughs> It's What's for gaffling? S- well, at least, or they should have a male partner at least. I, I, it's yes. just weird when they you watch like this live PD shit, and it's just like a single female like breaking yeah. up a gang fight. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Get out of there! Like, what are you like, doing? She's like, what, like a little sister to one of that. Yeah. Hey guys, stop! Yeah, yeah. You just said two females together on patrol, dude. Yeah. Or they fuck should at least here. let them be off when they're on their period. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But they're well, only allowed to work when they're on their period. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bitch shot me because she was on her period. She was being a messenger. <laughs> I shot her because I was being a messenger. Oh, my God. I mean, it'd be the shit. He's broad. She all emotional and shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You look like the nigga that just broke up with her, so now mm-hmm. you're getting arrested yeah. for some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. You related to Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone looking motherfucker. I love Puerto Rican cops from New York, dude. That's so. They're so sexy to me. What? Okay. You what? took a light. Right. You what? took a... I can keep, I'm writing you a summons. <laughs> you took a light. No, 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 no. Don't give me no fucking attitude. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. Puerto Rican. Did you see that? What was it? You, you cannot, yeah, Puerto Rican cops, You dude. cannot spell. Thank God for technology, Red Man. Mm-hmm. That's why you like technology so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did y'all see that? Put- dude, they say Puerto Rico's the new drug trafficking route. I, I was talking to some cat in Colombia. He's like, after the... Because you know they're always like switching up routes and shit when they smuggle. Like sometimes it's Jamaica, sometimes it's I mean it's always Mexico, sometimes it's the Bahamas. After the fucking hurricanes and shit, there's like nobody guarding the fucking borders, bro. So they fucking they're moving weight through that shit. Man. <laughs> Wild, huh? Hey, bro, that's what's it. gonna happen with Cuba as soon as the commies fucking fall. Finally, dude. Hey, guess what? We're it's doing. happening, bro. Yep. They got Wi-Fi. Do they? Yeah, there's a fucking building in downtown Havana that looks like the White House. Yeah, beautiful, right? <laughs> beautiful. Bro, bro, I'm staying That's with the family. Right. Will the family give me a place to crash if I Absolutely. need it? Absolutely. I'll, I'll obviously shoot them bread. You gringo. Yeah, but I, they're, they're going to be like, God damn, you give him, this motherfucker speaks Spanish. You give him a, yeah, John Spanish, Spanish is great. Mm-hmm. His Spanish is Spanish. probably How'd better. How'd you learn it? His, he was, was a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? He was a drug dealer. What <laughs> That's not how I learned it. 
No, he lived in like. So Bogota. you really know Spanish? He I lived, know Spanish. He, he yeah. lived in Bogota. Mm-hmm. I lived in Colombia. I lived in Ecuador. I lived, uh, and then I learned it originally in college. I lived in Argentina. That's where I met my homie from New Jersey, who started moving my bricks. So That's actually, crazy. it is related to drug trafficking because I met him and we hit it off. Well, to this day, he's one of my best friends. And, uh, and he was like, I was like, you know, I think because I sell weed in Oregon, like, I think the prices are way. He's like, how much would you pay? I was like, how much would you pay for a pound? He goes, four grand. I'm like, oh, wow, I've seen our future mapped <laughs> out, bro. It's like, uh, what's that movie? It's like Blow. Where the white guy is a drug trafficker, but he loses it all. Blow. Edward Scissorhands? In, uh, no, in L.A., he loses his wife. I think it's blow, dude. And then he gets arrested at the end. Yeah, with his daughter. It's yeah. blow with Johnny yeah. Depp. Yeah. Yeah, Johnny Depp. Yeah. <coughs> how are you a, sitting? Is this a Vita? I love how they get two white actors. It's so fucking funny, bro. <laughs> they wouldn't do that nowadays. No, hell no. They're getting dude. so much trouble. Oh, my God. Yeah. Can you imagine they got a white person to play a Cuban? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they probably have. Well, no, no, no. Andy Garcia, he played in Italia. Andy Garcia's Cuban. Fucking, uh, what's it called? It? Uh, Scarface. Oh, yeah. right. Where's he from? He Italian? Italian yeah, think, he's Italian. Yeah. He's from New York. He did a decent He Cuban did a bit. Accent. Yeah, is that a good accent? I don't know. I never mm. talked to a Cuban in English. Before. A little faster, but yeah. yeah, yeah a yeah, little yeah. faster. Cubans talk, even their English is so fucking fast, you'll have to say, slow down, man. Slow down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slow the fuck yeah, down. Yeah, slow the fuck down, guy. Yeah, William, slow down. I can't. <laughs> All right, man. Well, it's coming to the end of the podcast. <laughs> Red Band, you know how we end this shit. So how we make all of our guests end, we got to do a freestyle. And oh, so, hell yes. And dude. Since, <laughs> since, since you're the fucking guest, you got to start this bitch off. All right, we got a beat? Yeah, we about to get that beat. Actually, let's do a different beat. This all right, yeah. <laughs> That's some trap shit or what? Hey, hey, uh. okay. <laughs> Too fast. Whoa. Too fast? Yeah. Oh, we can slow it down? Ah. Uh, yeah. There you go. Let's get yeah, this Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Kicking it at Brothers Cursive. Fucking. You know you heard it first with the worst with. I'm like Wordsmith trying to come through and hurt some shit. Uh, Bill is on some big dick shit. David hasn't seen his <laughs> since his last fucking fish stick. About to rip shit. Yo, that was a fat joke. Um, I'll fucking grab you by the throat. Fucking smash you like a yoke. Um, God, I'm so pussy. I'm so horny. I need some pussy, bro. Go, Will. I don't know if y'all want to check my papers tonight, but I was in a car crash last night. My neck's hurt. Please check my papers. I belong in this prison yard. I killed my wife and son. It's going to give me some street cred in here. Where's Michael? Martinez? Is he still in the prison (laughs) yard? Hell yeah. Check his paperwork. (laughs) Check Michael's paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Gang beat by NSMBs, yeah. I drank my juice out of a carafe, sitting here chilling with Jeff the Giraffe, Johnny Mitchell on the mic, William drinking Miller, like Red Band with the auto. We do this shit, we like autos. Lamborghini when I drive, push start. Make the ride go vroom. I might never be a groom. Fuck that marriage shit. I'd rather have a hundred bitches in Puerto Rico somewhere where they don't wear no underwear. Shipping my cocaine off. I come back to America, check my paperwork. I'm good on this yard, right? Yo, we're about to move to Colombia. Me and you and Bill. About to make some money. This is how we go and smuggle the coke. We're gonna say, William, open that mouth, baby. Now <laughs> swallow these cocaine pellets, baby. Then come to the States and poop it out. And now we got something to rap about. Yeah. Wait a minute. 
my tummy's hurting. Why'd y'all make me eat that shit? One of the bags must have broken off in my tummy. I'm feeling amped up. I'm worried. My fever's getting sky high. Shit it out. <laughs> yeah, William. Shit it out. I gotta weigh it up, cook it up, ship it out real fast. We got the crack smuggled up in his ass. Even got that black tar heroin. Niggas don't rock no Air Force Ones. I do this shit because I rock my Yeezys. Yeezys on my feet when I cruise to the street. Gotta cook this dope up with this beat. Got my bitches cooking my shit naked. Do this shit because I like bitches naked. Puerto Ricans cook the best dope soft hard. Let me know how you want it. It's like Burger King. Have it your way. You want soft or hard? You want an eight ball, half a brick, a kilo, a bird or what? Holler at me and Johnny Mitchell. We'll hook you up with that work. But first thing, <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all. Now we're better at comedy. Yeah, we are. It's just <laughs> Fuck, it's just funny, man. Thank y'all for tuning into another episode of Brothers in Cursive. Can DJ. I plug my? Can I plug my Insta? Absolutely, Mr. Not. Johnny. Okay, cool. Not just love you, uh, Mr. Johnny Mitchell, Instagram. Love you. Yeah, Red Band, take us out, dog. Are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we really brothers? Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in cursive. David. Are you my guy, man? Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. David. Are you my guy, man? Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. That's sort of fun, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know what it means. Either you get it or you don't. Hey, Red Band, can we start all of this over? Bro, what? Does that <laughs> Brothers in, in cursive.